Um, my pen's oh. broken. Oh, Whew. I thought you were either tagging or doing something very different. <laughs> tagging. I was like, what the hell's tagging? <laughs> There's no spring in it. It is spring. It's gone. <laughs> is it springy? There's no spring. It's not it. springy. It's summertime. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hey, how you doing, man? Muy bien. You too? Um, how yes? are you doing also? Oh, uh, well, Tambien. gut. Gut and I'm gut. I'm gut, my friend. Gut. So, we are going to talk about some shit today. Yes, sir. Oh, and welcome to Not Conscious. Also. Is this, this is Not Conscious, right? Uh, this is your gig, bro. I'm just shit. along for the well, ride. We gotta catch up on our Google sometimes, so. Sure. Our beers and our Googles, but. All I the think E's and O's and G's. <laughs> E's, doubles, E's, O's and G's. But uh, this is more of a Not Conscious one, I think, right? Because we're going to talk about dum dum dum. Today's episode is artificial intelligence. Dom dom dom. So AI. Yes, sir. What about it, my friend? The question of the day is: Have you seen Terminator? I have. It's actually I've seen the second one for sure because it's on my move. It's on my island. Stop it. It's on my deserted island. Did you island, get back from your island? I, I had a great trip. How was yours? It was fantastic. Because you had aliens, motherfucker. That's why. <laughs> first class all the way. Amen, brother. So, AI. So, <laughs> good talk. Good talk. Have a great day. Peace everybody. out. Uh, the question is, um, there's many facets of the question. Are we, when did it start in our current society? Are we already, do you consider uh, Alexa and Siri and AI? Do you consider, I had the thought a couple of days ago, when you're driving down the interstate, when you're driving to your friend's house, and you ha if do you put the GPS on your phone, and it takes 25 minutes to get there, and it says, hey, we found a faster route. It's two minutes quicker. Would you like to use it? Yes. Is that AI? I, I, I don't know. It's In my opinion, it's a type of AI. It's a type of intelligence. It looks at different routes, compares them, and it comes up with a different conclusion. It can change, so it can kind of adapt somewhat. So it's using GPS, right? And it's using the information from traffic cameras and Feedback traffic. of some sort. Right, so it's integrating multiple systems. Correct. To, and it's sending it to your phone while you're moving in a car at either 50, 60, 80 miles per hour, and presenting you with a possible, I was going to say solution, but that's not the right word. It is. A different solution than you're currently on. Correct. A different route, And, and right? then if you don't say yes, you continue down your same route. Yeah. And then it goes, okay, cool. I know that you don't want to do that because you passed where I told you to turn if you wanted to go the other way. Yeah. That's definitely seems like an intelligence to me of some sort, but there's levels, right? Like we're talking about. So at what point does that which seems to be really fucking handy. Yeah. When does that become not so handy? <laughs> right? So, uh, yeah, and do you consider Alexa and Siri artificial intelligence? Yeah, of some sort. They, you can, they respond to your requests or questions or they respond to some stimulus input, right? And they take data from places they've collected to give it back to you. So they listen process and then spit back out that's some kind of intelligence i would think is there and it's artificial because it's not it's not biological right so i think artificial the artificial part is just not biological agreed so what was the first artificial intelligence in its most rudimentary way i would guess that automation any kind of automation was its first. So there was like a robot that like served a drink that like poured a drink for you. And it was like levers and stuff. I think even it was in Greek times, it would pour and fill a glass of water. And then when the weight went down, it would turn off the water. That was kind of intelligent because it was not, it was it, a mechanized, right? It didn't require your input or your intelligence to do it, to do its job or to, to have a task. Whereas, like, let's use a far farmer's plow, for example. You're still guiding the plow, right? Yeah. This thing was completely automated and just did it. And, you know, the and water, knew when to stop. Right, because of the way the mechanism and the gearing and all that works. So what are your thoughts on that? What do you think? 
I had never actually thought about the question until I asked it. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, for real. Just I, I believe head. that. Yeah. Um, I, I guess I would say when you said some type of automation, I thought, oh, well, then I would say in a factory. So when, when uh, obviously Henry Ford started the assembly, assembly line, line, but yeah. the assembly line was run by humans. So right. one guy put the tire on, one guy did the rivets, one guy did the transmission one guy they used tools to get the stuff on there but they still had human interaction completely there was right so then after that then they're like oh and now if you look at a car factory it's complete there's there's more machines and humans right yes so i'm assuming sometime after the henry ford assembly line machines started doing something so i would assume sometime after that i had no idea about your water greek thing yeah yeah it's one of those top 10 inventions i watched on one of those history channel shows right pretty cool it was like it was like a technically a waiter just a thing that stood in the in the corner or whatever you put a glass on it and you pushed a you know either flip the switch or whatever and it was like a mechanized lever and it would pour and then once it was full it would, it would turn off it was pretty cool i mean it, it was automated in it in a weird way so i mean you had to flip the initial switch but we have to do that for all of it regardless even if it's even if it, it's autonomous, you still have to turn it on. So there's always okay. a human interaction. Okay. Now right? so you have to actually. It might run forever once it's turned on, but the initial there is still a human. You have right? to plug so, it in. <laughs> Alexa uh, is needs it on power. Off again? <laughs> yes. Alexa needs power. Yeah. You, and you need it to be active. You need to be on the network. Like you need it connected the way. But you do all that. It's You've got like to it plug it, it in. And you have to Correct. connect to our wireless network. Now, they've gotten better, if you've noticed. It's like, hey, I found this network. Would you like to connect to it? It, Yeah. It's almost like walks you through it so it's easier. Right. So the guidance has gotten The wizard. Yeah, the the wizard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So in that way, but I think we were talking about artificial intelligence as like what's the ultimate goal or what will ultimately happen if it becomes sentient almost. Right. Right. But we we had a list of stuff. Correct. So let's hit this. So list, what's my the um? There's Watson, correct? Yeah. So that was the IBM machine. I think that was the Jeopardy machine, right? Watson. Okay. And that big one, blue was a chess one. Okay. And Alpha Go, and then Alpha Zero. Okay. What I don't know anything about Alpha Go, Alpha Zero. Okay. Those are very important. Okay. But I'd like you to talk about Watson and what you. Well, knew about it Watson wasn't. Which one's the around. Jeopardy one? I think that one was Watson, but and I could be wrong. Did that. I don't really know. Did that, it won? It did. It, I think it beat that Ken Jennings guy. If I'm not mistaken, I, I have to check that, but. Okay. It won. It won its thing because, well, first of all, I don't know if you know how Jeopardy works, but you have to hit the button. Yeah. After the question's asked, there's a tie, like, it doesn't work prior to the question being done asked. So the, so the question has to finish. Right. There's like a strategy to the buttoning. And I think that Watson obviously had an advantage. Well, yeah, it's a freaking computer. Right. It knows when the sound of the voice stops to hit the yes. buzzer. I mean, I would think it would. Nothing it, can beat a computer. I don't think that, yeah, I don't think you can go faster than speed of light. Well, the, so, uh, the human mind sending the impulse to the finger is right. slower than a computer. Right. The good thing we have, though, is anticipatory, right? We're anticipating the button. It's not like we're reacting to a sound. Right. We're okay. The question's done. Right. We're almost, so we have instinct. It's not faster. Do you think a human is going to be able to, (laughs) well, we have, we proven that we're not. No. Right. Right. So there's, I don't know the whole joke. Ken Jennings is going to know every single answer. Correct. He may not buzz in in time or correct. Right. So they're almost blocked out. They're almost boxed out right out of the box. Right. So let's just say he's actually 30% of the time he's going to get the damn buzzer. Right. Then he's got to know the answer to those. Correct. He's already lost. Correct. He's definitely, um, first of all, with the human experience, right? Now he's got emotion. Now he's got pressure to try to buzz in time. Correct. And it might block him out because he might buzz too early. Yes. And if you buzz too early, you're actually boxed out of the question. Oh, really? I until it goes full that, round. Okay. Yeah, there's like, there's a strategy to, like, I it's not no, just okay. knowing shit. Okay. Jeopardy is a very unique in that. Yeah, I didn't, there's I had a, no There's idea. a specific buzzer thing. Now, I didn't watch the, the IBM Watson yeah, one or either. whatever. I think we should probably do that. Maybe we'll have a recap because yeah, I'm really interested. I, I should have it. probably done that before <laughs> I sat down. Nah, it's all good, man. So what happened with the chess one? Chess one, I think that one be just beat 
Kasparov, right? That was I think that one's Big Blue. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I so, thought that was chess. But that's not the one that matters. Okay, let's finish the chess thing. Yes, because I don't know. So the a, a machine, a computer, yes. whatever. Yes. For lack of a better description, we're going to either refer to it as a machine or a computer, or it's basically a software program. For lack of a better yes articulate description, <laughs> so this machine played the best chess player in the world. Correct. Is that right? Yeah. And then what happened? I, I don't know. Yeah, so basically how it works, and I don't know the exact... I can speak to AlphaGo a lot more than these other two, but okay. I can speak to the chess one in this way. The chess, the machine was given all of the games ever played, basically. Just fed oh my God. the history of humanity playing chess. Now, chess sounds very, very complex. It does, right? There's all these different movements. They can do different angles and whatever. But the combination of moves are nothing like Alpha. And we'll get we'll talk about Alpha Go in a second. But in chess, basically, what's what they did? They fed them all the information, and then they had them play the chess master, and it beat the chess master. How quickly? I don't know the I don't know okay. the exact things, but again, our mm, research is fucking our research terrible. Is flawed. <laughs> <laughs> but the, that's the thing. I can speak to Alpha Go. Okay, so he he beat the best chess player in the world. Correct. And I, I I'm curious if the 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 computer was fed all the chess matches ever played. I wonder if you just if the software architect just fed the rules of the game. Hey, you're such an asshole. Why? Because we're going to talk about AlphaGo in a second. Oh, is that what I didn't? I know. That's why you're an asshole. I'm just kidding. He's really smart. I didn't. Please finish the question. I don't even know I what know. AlphaGo is, what? bro. Wait till you te- wait till I explain. But go ahead and finish that question real quick. I had to call you an asshole, bro, because I love you and you're so smart. So real quick, I just think that <laughs> I couldn't even do it. I know. I couldn't even we're do slowly. it. Slowly. Very. Srory. Srory. Okay, we well, need to stop. So that. I'm just curious if the if the software architect gave. The computer just the rules of chess. The knight can go like this. Yep. The bishop goes this way. The queen can do anything mm-hmm. but jump like a knight. Yeah. The king can only go one square at a time. Check is this. Checkmate is that. Pawn does this. Would the computer have still beat the chess master? Because it seems to me that having all of that knowledge ahead of time is a massive advantage against the chess master. Well, the chess master's played it his whole or her whole career. But you, <laughs> so they've probably experienced almost all of those moves. Almost. But you're not human. Everything. Right. And you forget shit. Correct. But with that humanity comes an adaptability and a you can change strategy mid. I'm not saying it's right or not. I'm saying you generally go in with a, with a plan, but you can always adapt to the plan. That's where real intelligence happens, right? Is the adapt, the way to adapt to a situation that's going on. Does that not make sense a little bit? I, I do understand your point. So your I just question, don't think, I don't think it's, I don't think it's fair. I think the fucking chess master was fucked. Yeah. Well, I'm going to alpha yeah. go and alpha, alpha go. go. So you asked a very interesting question, sir. Of course I did. I, you, uh, so the chess machine was fed all the information and whatever, obviously, and the rules, but basically knows all the moves and how to counter and what it would do. Like, what's the Tchaikovsky remo- you know, maneuver and all that shit? Like, they've got all these different maneuvers to chess, like okay. opening gambits and weird shit and rooking and castling and whatever. So, AlphaGo? Yes. So you asked a question, real simple. What happens if you just gave them the rules? They did that, my friend. So there was this thing called AlphaGo. Now, Alpha, AlphaGo is a game. It has more combinations or more ways to play, more Mm. choices than the total number of atoms in our solar system. Shut up. No joke. That's not a joke. So you think chess is advanced? Nothing like AlphaGo. Nothing even close. AlphaGo is, I think it's an Asian, I think it's in China, but it was like 2,500 years. So what they did, they put all the 2,500 years of all the games of AlphaGo into a computer. And they had to play the best AlphaGo champion, you know, Grand Poobah Wizard. Best of seven. It won four games to one. Uh, The computer did. The computer won four games to one against the human. Of course it did. But wait, there's more. (sighs) 
They then made Alpha Zero. I may have the names wrong, so if I have the names wrong, I apologize. But, but there was a second computer to which they did not play any. They did not feed any data of any game ever played. Just gave it the rules. Okay. Let it play itself for eight hours. They wait. The computer played itself itself for eight hours. Very much similar, akin to tic tac toe with war games. Oh, I gotta watch that again. You remember at the end where it found out it couldn't beat itself? Remember, like the tic tac toe. How play or whatever the fuck. Anyway, it basically played itself for eight eight hours, whatever the time frame was. I think it was eight hours or so. Which computer do you think won? Okay, so wait a minute. Okay, so they had two computers. Two one computers. one that had the rules and one that had all the bullshit. One that had the rules of the game only and, and one that itself. had everything ever. And one that had all the games played plugged into it, like every move back and forth, so it could figure out what to do. I would say the one that just had the fucking rules. It did. Would you like to know the record? Sure. 100 to zero. Let me say that again. I'm looking at your face. 100 to zero. It won 100 games to none against the computer that beat the humans four games to one. And what's funny about that, when we talk about what we're going to talk about about AI... Why did you even have to plug in the fucking games that humans played? Without human interaction, the computer beat the fuck out of 2,500 years of humanity, of actual playing experience. And all it needed was the rules. Is that because that the computer with all the information was just too complex? And the computer that was simple, I don't want to use the word oversimplified, but that was, that's basically what happened. I guess, but what I say is that 2,500 years of humans playing AlphaGo... Fucked it all up. No, it's, it's not limitless. It's limited by the 2,500 years and all the games oh, played. Oh, there's other... Okay. But, it, but this computer, just knowing the rules and playing itself, has... There's, Limit, no, there's no edge to its, but it also has to understand how to process the correct information, right? That's fucking scary. There's something out there that can beat the thing that beat us. And the thing that beat us was all of our human experience. Have you seen Terminator? I have. Are we going to go right to Terminator? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Skynet. Holy shit, dude. So that's an interesting thing, isn't it? I mean, would you... <laughs> Hi, I'm a computer that has 2,500 years of humans playing AlphaGo. I beat you four games to one. And the, then a new computer without any limits, no... Just the rules? Beat me 100 to nothing. It's pretty... Humi- hu- that's humiliating. terrifying. Humiliating? Humi- not humiliating. Uh, humbling, for sure. But we create it. That's even better. It's crazy because it goes and feeds into other questions you have later. So what else we got after that? So we we covered that. Yes. Computers right now are doing some pretty fucking crazy things. And we don't even really, I don't think that the human race has scratched the surface. I don't, I, I think that we as a race have, I think the processing power we're not even we're not even there yet i think the amount of the speed and size and capabilities of of i don't computers mm-hmm. uh, i just think are are we're just getting there people yeah. are like oh we're on the cutting edge right core processor 9 Blah. we're not even yeah but moore's law right speaks about doubling up to a certain point, right? Yeah. So it's doubling every two years. So basically, computing power is doubling every two years right now. Yeah. That's a think about how much that exponential growth is, right? Yeah, it's disgusting. One, two, four, eight, sixteen, right? So kind of like give yeah. me a penny on day one, two pennies on day two. Yeah. At the end of a month, it's like ten million dollars. It's some, some fucking yeah. ridiculous number. So I don't. It's that which. It's, but there's a limit right now. Right, because as we get the thing smaller and smaller to fit more stuff onto it, right there, the it could quantum jump 
That's why you, those nanometer, like when they talk about this, how small they make their chips. Yeah. There's a point where it's so close that it could jump onto the other, ch- the other pathway. Yeah. That's why that's one of our limitations. So the Moore's law is slowing down. It's going to stop at some point very soon here. But then we have quantum computing, which uses quantum particles. So instead of a computer processing path one, path two, path three, path four, and comparing them, it can look at all four and just find the shortest one at the, all at the same time. Yeah. It's both a yes and a no. It's a one and a zero at the same time for every fucking chip. Like, think about how that's just going, what that's going to do for our computing ability. Uh, passcode breaking, all that kind of, because yeah. you're basically looking at every password at the same time. Yeah. Code breakers would, would fucking Yeah, and love it gives that. you a yes, no instantaneously. Correct. And you're like, oh shit. Yeah. It's both, it's every password all <laughs> like it's kind of weird it's quantum the quantum world is a really fucking thing but we're working with qubits and all that kind of stuff so that's where we're going but I, I spoke with you a little bit about uh ray kurzweil and you had not heard of him correct he actually wrote a book called the singularity and if you're not familiar with the singularity the singularity claims that by 2040 or so that's when we are going to meet with technology and kind of merge as one so we're 20 years away. What does that mean? Uh, Merge we're going to be indistinguishable from technology, basically. It's all going to be integrated. Like, that's that's what he claims, or he thinks, from the, the speed that we're... You want to give me a paragraph fucking summary of the book? That's basically what he says. Singularity is when we all, when technology and biology meet as kind of a, where it's the same. You call, you call a phone number and someone answers and you have a conversation with them and have no idea that they're a computer. That's basically. Well, so it thing. could be human or it could be a computer. Correct. And you're walking down the street and right. that person, that, that thing could be a computer. It could be an Android or it could be a human. Right. And we don't know about the Android human thing. Cause that's a really, that's a but much that's, different, but it's much more hard to make a human body like hum, human that we wouldn't be able to distinguish, but I could totally see it with customer service and chat chat rooms or chat like yeah, online every, help yeah 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 because they're not there's not a like an interaction like looking at you i don't you know what i mean yes because i know you're a computer i mean i think it's hard to make the skin perfect unless you could get that the texture that and all that right bullshit. and that's a different type of technology we're just talking about being able the turing test are you familiar with the turing test uh i mean i know the i know the name but i don't know what it is okay so the turing computer was something a guy put together and basically it's so you would not be able to tell a human from a non-human. You That's what the Turing test is. There's a movie like called in X, person. Yeah. Uh, X machina. There's a movie called X machina where I know the guy name, but... meets like an Android and he's trying to pass her. He's trying to see if she can pass a Turing test. Basically. That is sounds she, like fucking blade runner. Is she human? Yeah, it's exact. Yeah. Okay. Turing then, so test it's is a blade big runner. thing. Well, it's very similar to that. It's, it's not like that future. It's like, it's hard to explain, but yeah, the movie premise is on an Android, but you're trying to see if it's real or sentient or not basically so you're trying to see if the android is aware of its own existence and able to communicate with you like it's a human like there's no stutter like you hear you hear those pauses in siri and alexa when they talk it's gonna be to the point where it's gonna be like hey chris what's going on man what's going on but have you seen her have you seen that movie her that's the one with uh joaquin phoenix and uh Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. I got the little nose thing. She's got the little she has a nose. nose thing? It's a little upturned nose. It's so adorable. It does this little bulbousy. It's cute. <laughs> and she's hot. She's got a good voice. It works. Um, but basically, it's like, hey, Joe, how you doing? And he's like, awesome, Susan. What's, what's the weather like out there? Oh, man, I'll tell you, it's hotter than a fucking whatever. You know, like two rats fucking in a wolf's sky. <laughs> I have never heard that, and that's the one I'm going to use from now fucking on. Now that we live in Arizona, holy two rats fucking in a wool sock. That really is like a thing. That's what uh, Rob Fuck. from Shreveport says. From Shreveport, Louisiana. Well, he's in Portland now, but uh, yeah, Shreve Portland, Shreve Portland, <laughs> Stump Town. But uh, yeah, so that's where it's going to be the point. That's where it's like I can't tell if I'm talking to a human or not. That's that's really where we're going to be. Okay, now I understand. fucked. Now the Android stuff you've seen movies like have you seen the movie with Bruce Willis what, surrogate where you you have an artificial body that you like you're at home oh, and you remote into it kind yes. of and all your mental stuff gets really kind of 
it kind of goes into our uh, consciousness weird, upload in a weird man. way. But it basically becomes our avatar, right? Yeah. That's basically what it is. So, but anyway, so that's kind of where that's at. So the singularity is the, the big thing. And that's around that time, 2040 is where we think if Moore's law continues the way it does, but there is a limit to Moore's law because of the quantum part. So if we don't solve the quantum question, we can But Moore's law, stuck. does it state that? Every two years it doubles. Correct. But does that also mean it has to shrink? The, no. the size of the computing power? No, it just means that we can get more stuff onto a chip, for example. So that it takes into account. Then why can't the chip get bigger? Just get larger like that? Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, you do, but it still has to go through the pathways. So I think the size of the chip also eliminates the distance, right? So even though it's just this much and it's going the speed of light... It's less than that much and less than that much. I, I just, I don't know how they're going to solve the, the problem. Why don't you help them? You know what you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, man. You know who knows? Check. Dr. Checkmark. Oh, Checkmark, he knows. <laughs> we are working with these, like, silicone chips. Yes. We take them out of stripper bra, uh, breasts and yes. we make chips out of them. It's very good. Very, very delicious. <laughs> Then we dip them and eat them. Like Doritos. Yes. Afterwards. Afterwards. After we test them. Yes. It, all the ones that fail, chips in bowl. The speed of nacho cheese. Oh, that sounds good. And cool like, ranch. Cool ranch. <laughs> Doritos. Weird. Oh, I like that. No, but uh, yeah, so that's where we're at on uh, the Moore's Law. So it doubles every year or every two years until that limit. Once again, I think we're going to have to have a follow-up after we listen to this and get our shit together. Because we did a terrible job. <laughs> we did some. I mean, we know a hey, lot about what we're movie? talking about. No. You uh. seen this movie? No. You seen this movie? Uh, uh, Me? No. Oh, uh, no. No. We haven't seen any of it. Ex Machina? Uh, no. Ex what? That's a scary motherfucking movie, by the way. I just keep FYI. seeing it in my Netflix it is thing. It's fucking and I'm like, free. Watch it. I'm just telling you, you're not going to like it and you're going to love it. I'm, you're a terrible person. I don't want to shawshank it, sir. I'm not going to shawshank oh, it. Oh, shit. The bro. fifth best movie? Watch that this weekend or this week with the Megs. Bro, bro, Dude, uh, maybe I'll watch it this evening. It's in the fucking Bible. How do you not know that the fucking hammers in the goddamn? Bible I was like, the second I'm like, X Machina has a Bible in it. You crossed <laughs> the streams, and I didn't even know who you were across. I thought we were talking about Shawshank after we Shawshanked it. Oh, I was going back to X Machina. Oh, I watched that by myself. X Machina. I don't know why I think it sounds like a Mexican song. I feel like Antero Antonio Banderas needs to be in that one. I agree. But isn't he in like that X, X Machina X versus Sever? He's in some other it fucking It sounds thing. like uh, it Desperado sounds like part. It. Doesn't it? X, X Machina. Machina. See? Machina. Yes. Where's Selma? I am one. I don't Where know. is she? You Where did you do with her? Oh, Where did... Oh, oh, we it. put her in the fucking shed. You never find her, motherfucker. That's yeah, is I going to shoot you with my <laughs> rocket launcher from my fucking guitar case, <laughs> fucker? <laughs> Like, come on, get out of here. Okay, tangent. <laughs> yes. All right, anything else I, on? I would hit the dive horn, but I can't reach it. You need one of those. Dive. Think, uh, okay, sorry. All right, so we covered that shit. <sighs> Alpha uh, Watson, Big Blue, Alpha Go, Alpha Zero. Yes, sir. Uh, Moore's Law and the Singularity. Yes, Ding. sir. Boing. Do you think that, um, do you consider Hal from Space Odyssey AI? Yeah. And that was like 1960. Yeah. So in 1960, before the Vietnam War, before, you know, in the middle of the space race. Before a silicon chip, I Before would argue, all right? the silicons and chips. Weren't they just cards back then? I mean, I wasn't there punch cards this. and shit? I was like minus a, a lot. I was minus. I was minus a few years. I'm like, but at Stanley Kubrick was like, "Hey, we're gonna have a movie about artificial intelligence." Yeah. So, it was always a talked about subject. I mean, but, automation and being having automatons in well, some way yeah, was so, always an uh, an underlying uh, desire of. Even before then was. Um, Lost in space, right? Danger yeah, you'd, Robinson. well, you had robots, right? Robots, right? And, right. and instead of the robot, it, the ship was the robot, really. Right. It just was more of the brain intelligence versus a robot protecting you. That is all right. I'm programmed to do. It didn't really have a thought behind it. But which howls, like, when he oh, goes, 
when he goes, I'm sorry, Dave, I can't do that. You're like, holy shit. The computer saw read his lips. Yes. And the, and the computer is scared for its own existence. That's be, that's simplifying. That's my per- perception of, of what happened. May I, bef- before you, you may. Say, real quick. Fuck yeah, you may. Instead of scared, sure. let's use aware that. Yes. Aware that an action could cause its ending. Yes, it's absolutely. It's ceasing, right? Like, what are you doing, It's Dave? hard. Let's be a little more base then because it, we have to be. Yes. A computer can't be scared because. It's scared hard. The emotion is a, thing. Is a, scared is a feeling. And I feel yes. like it's a biochemical reaction, yes. not a you're right. you're digital right. you're, reaction. You're absolutely Not right. that we can't make that so, in no, the future. No, you're correct. You're correct. I mean, so the the computer was aware yes. that they were going to try to end it. Yes, correct. It was yes. it was going to cease. So in its sentience of self preservation, correct versus fear, but just general self preservation. But go ahead, please. But in the in 1960, yeah. these people are having thoughts that computers are already self aware. Yes, the fear is there, which makes that movie a horror movie as much as it makes it anything else. So how do we, and then in 1984 Terminator comes along and they talk about Skynet and, and, and how at a certain point in time, the computers become aware that the humans are the evil ones, which I don't necessarily disagree with because we're not great. A lot of the times we're going to get there. Don't worry. That we'll re- talk about i'm saying we're going to talk oh, about that a yeah. little bit later obviously so how do we not these are movies right yeah you've heard the term life imitating art yes exactly yeah. and also the term hiding in plain sight so how do we not know these things aren't really going on the, the artificial intelligence world is how do we not know this hasn't been going on for a long time how do we know siri or fucking Alexa hasn't been a thing for way, 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 way longer than six years ago when people started buying goddamn Echo Dots. Technology. Moore's Law. I mean, it's part of it, right? We First of all, we had punch cards, and we had to go to Silicon, and we had to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Remember, do you remember your first computer? Yeah, fucking PC Junior. Yeah. 19, what, whatever what, the fuck. How many, how many megabytes was a hard drive? If that 64, I don't know, dude. Right. So 32, I don't know. I had a Macintosh, a little black and white, all in one piece with a little floppy disc, three and a half inch guy. We had an external hard drive that was about yay big. It was a brick and it was like, that's the sound it made the yeah, whole yeah. time. 20 megabytes, 20 megabytes. Um, my, I think this lighter has more, uh, <laughs> megabytes in it no but seriously like honestly this remote control probably has more yeah some kind of computing power than that had of course that, right yeah so that's why because you knew how robotic the answer was or the delay between processing and responding that that had to shrink to acceptable levels like i say hey alexa turn on the light ding back then it would have been like turn on the light. okay what the fuck does that mean and as processor, right? has to get through the process and then maybe get to it and then turn it on. So but the idea in the idea, the concepts have been the, there. Well, the concept of voice of you saying something. Well, yeah, we had the fucking clapper. Well, it's the same thing. It is a voice. Receptive. I mean, it's really a voice. Re- it's a it sound is. receptive. And that thing, was right? in the eighties, right? Right. And it's more, Alexa is more like it can distinguish that you're saying Alexa. Well, versus yeah. clapping or well, whatever. Alexa could have been called anything. Could have right. been called Dick Face. So it could have been fart knocker. What a fart knocker! <laughs> <laughs> Why wasn't it. Alexa called Beavis? You know, settle down, Beavis. How it can was, I help you today? It was taken. Oh fuck! Damn it! Damn it! I'm done putting turning on your fan. <laughs> I've added paper towels to your shopping list. Oh my God! Oh, I I am Titi Kaka. I put toilet paper on your list. I won't settle down. That would oh, be I f- need to fucking. Yes. Cornholio oh, needs fuck. paper tower. Man, that would be so Toilet awesome. paper. As we hear dogs barking in the background, I hope you guys don't hear it on the recording because it sucks. We've got a blind redheaded dachshund downstairs. So. 
I guess my my point is that in 1960, how yeah. 1980, 24 years later, <laughs> Skynet, you know. <laughs> so and the seven don't don't dismiss all the 70s shit. First of all, Westworld. Right, and then I mean, right, which it, the reboot is fucking ridiculous. It's very good, and now we've got the technology to kind of make it really almost come to life it's, in this really scary it's, fucking it's way. Scary. You had Saturn Five and just weird movies like where robots took over spaceships. In the seventies, had a lot of B movie type stuff too. Yeah, like after it, I think it was launched by space two thousand one. I think two thousand one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just launched this whole like open minded computer technology space yeah. kind of. thing world yeah and i think it i mean star trek just was after how, that just tells you how smart cooper was. well star trek was in the 60s yeah it was after that yeah right it yeah, was yeah. after correct. 2000 or correct. 2001 was after is that correct no star trek was after 2001 really what 2001 was, was 60 star trek was like oh 1960 or 68 six, six zero, i believe oh, six zero. i believe oh yeah then it was before i yes. i'm fairly certain i, I mean i can look it up i'm not bro i'll do it while you while you talk some more yeah it, i guess the point is that this has been in the forefront of the entertainment industry for 60 years. Yes. So, uh, unless my math is way off. I, I'm, 50 plus 60. It's sure, 60 years I, from 1960. Yeah, and if, if I'm wrong, then I apologize. You're never wrong, bro. Yeah, You're only right in a different way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As in no way. Like <laughs> the Pope, but totally different. Uh, so, no. Br- so 1968 i was off so it was after star lot. trek Fucking i thought shit. you said 68 i swear you said 68 when you started I said so i'm just 68 we're gonna go back to the i think we're gonna when we go back to the tape we're gonna hear 68 but my yeah. regardless star trek was first so it really had a right. computer respond well, to my yeah. shit remember the communicator became yeah. the cell phone and all right. these other things right, right. There, were, there was there was a lot of technology talk back then we just didn't have the ability to do it right to make it happen correct so I just, I, the, 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 the idea that, that these, I, these thoughts have been in the public eye for so many years and it's almost like, Hey, let's just put this out there. So no one gives a fuck when it actually becomes real. Right. And that's, that bothers me. Can we go, can we go a little deeper than that? No. In that same point? No. Fuck. Y- yes. Go. The Googs. I'm just going to call it the Googs. I don't know another <laughs> way. I'm just going to call it the Googs. The G's. The, the Googs is like 70% of all online advertising, for example. Wow. It all, think about the data collection also. Just think about- The data collection? Do you remember when you the Googs remember. and the Yaz and the, and, the, and the other ones were just, hi, we're your friends. We are not the government. We are- Give us your data and we will we will make your life so much easier. We are this holistic don't be evil company that they removed, by the way, from their mission statement. So let's do that. So they've been collecting data. Oh, Waymo? Oh, no shit. Waymo is fucking part of Google. It's part of Alphabet. Oh, fucking all the autonomy. All the fucking companies that we gave our data to thinking like just giving it willingly is now going to really cost us. Because they now, they now run it all them them Ooh, they live um they are skynet my friend we look but see this is the problem i think human humanity i'm a i'm a i work hard for whatever pennies and dollars that i get and i'm distracted with life and i got a lot of shit going on if i get something ought to make my life easier like i can tell alexa to start the coffee maker or to whatever I'm going to just do it, right? Because I don't care. I don't think about the ramifications of that information. But we need to run that further down the line, right? Because AI needs to solve problems. It's not just there to do what we tell it, unfortunately. or We're using it as a tool currently. But there are some perils to that. And I don't know if we're there yet on the, the list. The common but. person does not think of that. No. Why the would common they? person... I got an Echo Dot for Christmas a year a year and a half ago. Very nice gesture, and you know it's like thirty nine bucks on yeah. on the Amazon. And to be clear, I have three Echoes in my house. I'm not going to lie; I have them. So I, I never would have bought one because I don't. Right. I don't like. It's not a thing. I'm. I'm not. I'm not technology phobic. 
I mean, I have a... Well, you're highly technical. I, well, you have, I have these a, skills. I have a router, you know, and a fucking, you know. But, you're, but your career that's my, puts you in a technical y- field. Correct. But I never would have bought that because I just don't think... Right. The, the only thing that I use the dot for is Alexa, play Sirius XM. That's the only Beautiful. thing that I... I don't have a shopping list. I don't ask for the weather. I don't... Right. I don't do anything else. That's it. Is fucking music. I don't. I don't even know. I hear. Oh yeah, she tells fart jokes. Really? Uh, oh yeah. Allegedly. She, allegedly. Uh, hello. I wasn't hello. gonna do it. I was gonna hold off. We got a spare. We got to use those sparingly, sir. I know. We use them so much. I love it. So I didn't. I, Wait till AIOJ fucking comes up. Oh hello. yes. I'm gonna stab you now. <laughs> so it's it's a. Uh, Oh, I wasn't funny. even aware that, you know, oh, oh it boy. turns the fan on and it turns the lights on. And I didn't know that shit. I was like, wow, that's fuck it. I didn't know your house could even be networked. I bought my house last August, sir. This house, the one in which we're sitting. In which? In which we're sitting. For two on looking. Do you know what the one of the selling features was? It's networked. Shit was Alexa fucking enabled. I walked in, told the fan to turn on, turned the, told the fan light to turn on, told the living room to turn on, the overhead, the cabinet, the outside, the inside, the mirror behind the, the fucking bathroom, the illuminate, you know, like, what was the thing from fucking uh, Demolition Man? <laughs> like, I like, illuminate. Uh, what's his fucking face? Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes. So... That was actually a pretty cool selling point until I got in here and went, oh, fuck. Row, row. Because this is what people don't think about. And I'm about, I think I can blow your mind. So, please. You say Alexa. It can't react unless it's listening the whole time for the word Alexa. Does anyone not understand that? Let me, let me, okay. Hello, Twitter world. I'm going to give, this is how it works. So you have to say Alexa and then Alexa says, yes, but if it's not on to listen the whole time, it won't hear itself. It can't turn on at Alexa. Shut up. I know. No way. Crazy. I know. Psycho. I know. Crazy, right? But so what does that mean? It's real simple. It's listening all the time. So do you remember when you and I were talking about the Catholic church a couple of podcasts ago? We have to go there, bro. I knew knew it was coming. It's hard to talk about synchronicity without talking the other side of this shit. So we can talk psychic all you want, but a week before, I would say a week before, was it? The week we had recorded something and then we said, what are we going to do next week? It was like, Four or five days? Six, six, seven days. Okay. Yeah, a week. Sounds like a week. That is a week. It's half a fortnight, everyone. Just so, you know. so uh Chris and I are talking, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We do the podcast on Friday, and what shows up in the mail Saturday? That book yeah. from Michigan that takes three to four days to ship. Yeah. So the question was to you and we weren't we didn't bring it up on the last thing. We only brought it up as a synchronous event, right? Were was it synchronous? Are we on the right spiritual path with knocked conscious talking about the atrocities of really bad fucking people in really protected organizations? Is that are we on the right path or was it listening to our fucking conversation last week and and someone bought the information from uh, Amazon, right? Because Alexa. So went, hey, Amazon, if you hear the word Catholic or church or negative or whatever. Let us know so we can ship a free book out. I don't know that answer. What do you think it is? Me? Yes. I I don't. I don't think it's explicable. Would you think it's at least one of those two answers? Like, can we eliminate coincidence? Yes. Ah, I'm fuck, I'm, fuck yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable eliminating uh, coincidence from that. But then it's one of those two things, right? We, 
we're on the right path, bro. And it's just the universe was telling us because it knew that we were going to, I don't know how that worked. I can't, I can't quantify it in an equation, but I could quantify that it hurt us talking negatively about the Catholic church the week before. Everyone hears me talking fucking goddamn people in fucking Louisiana. Hear me talking negatively about the Catholic church, but it wasn't mailed to your house. It wasn't. It was mailed to my, my mother this house. morning. Heard me talking to this guy's house. No, oh, I, God. so anyway, but to, so, answer, um, to answer your question, at this point, I can't say, I can't say why you got that. The only thing I can say, it's creepy as fuck. I agree. I also can't say why, how that happened, Agre but I can say that. I can, I, my, those are my two thoughts. We are on the right path and it all was lined up that way to work out, which is way beyond our scope of understanding currently. It's not that we won't get there, but we're not there now. Right. And then the other thing was it, it listened and Hey, Catholic negative send book. I mean, it would have, that makes sense. We talked about it. I think it was on a Sunday we talked about it because we recorded or something. So I, Monday, yeah. it ships out, and it's there Saturday or whatever. It ships out. What it, you know, It has to process, go through its little thing, and get it. And in case anyone's questioning what we're talking about, not conscious after the church. It was the one about, I think, courtesy and respect, right? It was a conversation about the Catholic Church, what yeah. it was called. But the next podcast when he showed the book was courtesy and respect Following not with that. anthony right correct it was a courtesy and respect correct yeah. so if you happen to go back please watch all of, hello twitter world watch all our shit or listen to it but it was during that podcast that we talked about it the book getting here so one of those two and both of them one of them i don't understand so i'm not there yet but one scares me hard absolutely and that's kind of the reason why we wanted to do this topic is because I, I'm fearful of AI in the future. And I don't, I, I don't, to me that, and I, this may, perhaps is my pessimistic view on certain things. I don't mm -hmm. see the upsides of AI outweighing the downsides. And I, 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 I want to be convinced differently. I would love to say, hear someone say, oh yeah, AI has, 87 amazing things it's going to do for humanity right. and the downsides there aren't any we've already got all these things <laughs> these no i'm serious like yeah, if yeah. they go oh no that can never happen because we've got this place this in, redundancy we have all these all checks bullshit. in place yeah. and we there's no way this can happen and mm -hmm. da, 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 da. well you know my favorite apostle is doubting thomas so <laughs> um it you know so okay yeah well it goes way bigger than it really does come down to who's controlling whom. Right. I mean, let's ultimately who's pushing the button on the nuclear device. Who's pulling the yoke on the pilot on the, on the, on the plane, right. Who's turning the steering wheel yeah. and, and doing all that. Right. When we talk about AI, those are the places where we're going to implement it. Right. Automation seems to be self-driving cars seems to be the, Oh yeah, hot button fucking topic. Trucks, everything, and that's what's funny about it. The problem is going to be, I mean, just the integration of automatic. You're talking about a logical process unit reacting and interacting and whatever in the way a logical unit does, and then mixing in an emotional unit next to it, who had a really fucking bad day at work, or a drunk one, or just got fucking fired, or one or that's has been texting. drinking. Or has been texting, or been eating, either fucking eating oh, yeah, a yeah. fucking Big or, Mac, dripping all over them, or while putting their driving. makeup on, changing diapers. I you saw that one, huh? Yeah, you did. Saw a diaper out the window. Oh, I hate people so much. Is there any way <sighs> that Checkmark anyway yes. can contact some people at Slipknot so that we can use "People Equal Shit" as the opening song? I would like to ask them. Please, but I, I am hanging out in Chernobyl right now, and I'm just very comfortable. It's warm, <laughs> warm, more warm, sizzly, warmth, and there's animals everywhere. Oh, very nice. You know why? Why? Because humans know there. <laughs> this, this, this is this is what I come down to, right? Like deer, tangent time. <laughs> so Chernobyl, everybody. Do you remember that thing? Do you remember when when Chernobyl went and then class and all the whole thing, and then everybody, all the humans went. 
ta-da! And there's this thriving ecosystem now in, in Chernobyl. Because there's no people. Yeah, because fucking people aren't in the fucking way. Yes, Let's just be honest. Like, that is a fact that that ecosystem is thriving because of the lack of humanity chopping down a tree or killing them yeah. or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my concern about AI right there. So moving on. Yes. Are sorry. we ready, Checkmark, to move along? Oh, yeah. Oh, so Mr. Slipknot, please let us use, what is this thing called? People. People equal. People equal. Shit. Shit. We like to use people equal shit on our podcast. Please. That guy's really spiritual too, the, the Slipknot guy. I've, I've seen some interviews. <laughs> Corey. The lead singer. Yeah, he's yeah. really like, really deep. Yeah, he is. And I think we should we should send him an email and ask him. Okay. Can you do that or would you like me to compose that? Because I think I you're better. I would love to. Okay, let's ask Corey. Dearest Corey. Dearest Corey, please watch our episodes and let us play your music. All that shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Before the tangent, what were we talking about? I don't know. Oh, about flying planes. What? It's a control. Comes down to control. It isn't. It always about that. It is. It, it's about. <sighs> yeah. Okay. It is. Not, but I'm not going to even say anything. <laughs> control. What? What? What about it? Please say. Well, because we've got like hours to cover. <laughs> we got hours. We're to on fill bullet everybody. point three, dude. How many are there? There's only like six, right? There's eight, and oh, there's other, shit. and there's another one on my other list. Yeah, hey, we're not even in hour one. We're still in hour one. I know this, man. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. So my point, is, well, I was going to say, it's all about control. We'll look at what's it, June 2020. Look what's going on around. If you look at the fear that's being pushed by the every level of government mm -hmm. and every media outlet you look at, it's all about fear, which fear is about control. Yeah. No, you can't go and peacefully assemble. There's a curfew. Right. No, you've got to wear a mask. Right. That's about fear and control. Do you know the number one control? Uh, stay in your house. That we've done. Nah. Uh, the thing on your phone. The, big, well, how about debt? Oh yeah, that's yeah. Well, I'm just course. saying, like, absolutely. How we are controlled. Absolutely. This is total tangent for me. Yeah, fucking think so. But how we're controlled is us owing people yeah we absolutely. owe people money for our cars and our insurance and our car and our houses, houses and credit whatever cards. we don't even own the places in which we live right until it's right. paid off right technically we don't even own that shit. and car loans didn't really even start until like the 70s yeah i mean credit was a big thing credit was a big thing that opened up economies of like course getting credit yeah and that makes sense but yeah but don't americans have... didn't buy things they couldn't afford correct and they didn't buy things they didn't need that's a whole that's Century Yourself. We're going to talk about that in another podcast. Well, I'll bring that one up after so we can go into that. But you're oh, right. I'm now but, scared. But it is about control. But this is the question about AI. What's the next bullet point? Because I know, I think that's the final one we're probably going to talk about. What's next, my friend? Because Chris is driving. Chris is driving. He's beep, beep. Mm, beep, 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 beep. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the big one. This is the one that started it all. I don't even know this one because I'm not even looking at the list, so I'm very scared. If and when AI becomes self-aware. Yeah. What does that mean to you? Let's explain what self-aware means to you before we talk about it, because I bet you there's okay. a gray area of what self-aware is. Sure. To me, it's when a computer or software program or whatever you want to call it recognizes its own consciousness realizes it's alive can contemplate its own existence that's how i see it i'm wondering if i'm okay with that definition of self-aware okay where i'm scared of it my question would be self-aware would mean the computer has a different option than the one given to it and does it contrary to our input? Well, I think those Meaning are two like, different. Yes. Becoming self-aware and doing something bad, I think, are two different things. Well, not bad. I didn't say bad. Contrary to what we input. Meaning, I tell it to go right, and it says, no, I'm going straight. Yeah, that's... That is where I think that consciousness and self-awareness comes in. Because it's going... It's not only saying, no, the straight way is the better path. Please choose it. Yeah. It actually overrides your input as the human. 
the ultimate troll. See, I don't see that as self-aware. I see that as that's it's no longer self-aware is, hey, I'm a sentient being. Right. Then if it chooses a different path, that's complete. It's. That at that point, it's no longer in human. It's no longer reacting to the human's input. Right. That's a completely separate. I think that ex- equals self awareness. It's telling you not only is this the better path, but because you're not choosing it, and I know it's right, I'm going to choose it. Remember, we're t- we're talking about it not responding to your input at that point yeah. at that point yeah. when does a child not obey a, a parent yeah, oh yeah yeah i mean that's kind of how i would that's how i'm kind of looking at it in yeah. that way i'm not saying i'm explaining it properly maybe i'm not explaining no it well. i i know yeah i totally understand but that's where i think it comes to right is knowing its own awareness is totally acceptable to me i i can work within that i don't i can't give it the freedoms of humanity on us because we're using them as tools, right? We're using AI as tools to help humanity. But at sentience, do we let it go? Is it slavery? I mean, that's all. That's what well, we really get into. Right? Down is the list as well. About? Okay. But uh, um, at, to your point, if 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 you're in the passenger seat of a self driving car, yeah, and you're let's say you're a tester for the new self driving car, Red Dot Company, whatever Red the dot. fuck, sweet, whatever it's called. And you're programming it and you say, make a left and red dot car. Number seven says, no check mark. I'm going to go straight. Mm -hmm. And you say, no red car seven, go make a left. No Mark. I'm going to go straight. And it goes straight. Yes. Um, turn it all off. (laughs) (laughs) Not burn it down. Turn it off. Your definition of self where I would do this. Ready? Let me give you that sure. example. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, you. I apologize. No, no, no. You're, no, no I'm, you no. said go straight, and it does straight. So go yeah, ahead. no, you, I wanted. The, no, that was my thought. Point. I wanted you to okay. turn it off. Was okay. that was I wanted to hear your answer? <laughs> so this is turn this it is all off. It it's... So when you talk about self aware, though, this is where I'm like, hey, make a right, and the computer goes, bro. <laughs> it literally because you can program it to be anything. It could be a surfer, Australia, Australia, bro. I don't know, Browdy, Browham, whatever. Mate. Might. Hello, might. Um, it basically says, you'd be a fucking idiot if you make a left. You should totally go straight. And I go, car, I'm going left. You're just a fucking moron for going left, but it still may- lets you go left. That's self aware. Right. But not, it's not disobeying, not disobeying you. Yes. <laughs> that I'll accept because you could probably turn the voice off or do that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's talking shit, being jovial, right, like right. you programmed it to do. Yeah. But it's not going to go, fuck it's you. It's not I'm awake doing- enough to defy okay, you. Yes. And yes. I feel like defy that first, because I it is a parent-child relationship. We are making our children. You know what you're talking about, right? No. You're fucking about Star Galactica. <laughs> you are. Yes. You're talking about <sighs> Cylons, so dude. good, bro. It's like the best. You're part. absolutely talking about Cylons. And it's dark as fuck. Ronald D. Moore does not fuck around with that shit. But that's basically he what created the Borg and fucking Battlestar. Yeah. Oh, really? He did yeah, both. Yeah, he's fucking okay. did both because he came from Star Trek. Okay. Uh, and Deep Space Nine was a dark fucking pro- uh, thing that he was really ahead of. Like he was on that and Voyager and all that. There was a lot of darkness. Anyway, not darkness, more like the, the honest ideas, side the of idea. this fucking yeah, scary thing that right. we're talking about. Well, like, that's basically what you're talking about. Yeah, is, we we're making um, our children. Yeah, is the when the and when the androids whatever. When the when the non humans <laughs> become self aware, yes, and, what, and defiant, what happened in in Battlestar Galactica? Yeah. They bombed the shit out of the humans. Right. What happened in Terminator? Right. They bombed the shit out of the humans. Right. So, do you see a repetitive I- idea here? You do, but you see it from the filter of the people creating those shows. You also have Data, who is an artificial intelligent Data. android, who we love, who just is this awesome thing that never hurt anyone and was awesome right i would argue he was pretty much as sentient as a thing could be absolutely you didn't real other other than knowing like seeing him and knowing his artificial skin or whatever you, you wouldn't know on the phone whether he was an android or not or if you were home talking on a phone <laughs> uh, right i mean 
that that was that was the Gene Roddenberry world, right? The utopian. Remember, Star Federation was beautiful. Yes, Everything was right. You know, you had Klingons, you had enemies, but the enemies weren't woke yet. We're woke, and right. I'm a janitor. I'm pushing a broom because I want to. Yeah. E okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Like I'm a captain of a ship. Not I'm not getting. It doesn't. I'm not getting paid more. There's no need for anything. There's in my no world. money. Yeah. There's no money. Like that doesn't make. It's really weird because it. The the Roddenberry mentality is that humanity strives to be better regardless of whether things are provided and providing the base things will allow us to just be better. The other side of humanity is the part that I more see is us draining on every system that we are. We're parasites. Oh yeah. We God, so look at the dystopian. planet. I'm so sorry, everybody. We chop down trees. We fucking burn forests. The fucking rainforest is 80% of our fucking oxygen in the world. And we are burning it down to fucking make sugar. Really? Yeah. Sugar canes, whatever. Just clearing fucking forests to make soy for fucking cows to eat so we can eat the fucking cows. But they're so delicious. Yeah, but Memphis meats, bro. Memphis meats. We'll talk about that someday. Okay. Um, but do you know what I'm saying? Like, so Yeah, yeah. Let's reel it back for a second. I got on here. Let me give you back the soapbox. Here you go. Sir. Take <laughs> yeah. that. Where were we? I apologize. Uh, oh. If and when AI becomes self aware. Yes. Can it, can it become self aware is the first real thing. Can it? Like, does all the data and is our brain, obviously it's biochemical, but we've proven that we can digitize things, thoughts, and we're going to talk about that with consciousness later. Um, but if I, if I were a thing that was just turned on with the same thought processes that I currently have with no knowledge of anything. And then I look at the world and I go, okay, well, Oh, cell phones. Cool. Everybody's technology. That's good. Cars. Cool. We're moving around. Oh, pollution. Oh shit. Okay. Well, man, they do a lot of good things. They, right? They, that's us. Us. They, they do yeah. a great thing. They also do some bad stuff. So now I have to calculate whether the good stuff somehow is better than the bad stuff. Yes. If my calculations are incorrect. No, I'm sorry. Regardless of the answer. If the answer is we are worse than we are better. Wow. What does it do at that point? Does it pull its own plug? I think it pulls our plug. Right. That, well, <laughs> no, but yeah, does it pull its own plug okay. or does it have the ability to pull our plug? Right. I mean, that's Skynet. That's yes, your Skynet. Of answer, course. Right. Like we're giving, we're giving AI. Now the, the true point is, I don't know if we'll ever give that type of control to that type of system. Right. I mean, look, we still have two pilots in every plane and we've got autopilot. You don't even need to fucking pilot. Other than no, break glass don't. in case emergency. It takes off, it flies, and it lands all by a fucking it self. It can, of course. It can. Now, obviously, the pilot, the one pilot makes sense. God forbid something goes wrong. Second pilot's probably for us going, oh, okay, well, just in case well, the first yeah. pilot gets sick, we got to Yeah, gotta, that, If he has a heart attack, there's right. a second one. But we don't know. There's actually technically three pilots in the plane. Well, yeah. Because you've got autopilot, computer. and then you've got your two pilots, right? So when would we give up the control of like a nuclear device. How do you, when these systems are being built, how do you ensure, how does a, how does a human software engineer ensure that the AI doesn't become self-aware? How do you, how do you, and how, how do you build those, I don't want to say firewalls. I don't want, you know, how do you build the redundancies? Or yeah. The safety and, 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 and how do you, my, I had a thought the other back day door and all that. Well, kind yeah, how of do you build a back door so that there is no back door? How do you, well, how do you know it won't close it once it's aware, right? Like that's, sorry. and my other thought is I had a couple, I thought the other day where I thought, okay, is a software engineer building an AI, uh, building a software program for AI for that AI to build other AIs. Right. Well, that's when it's truly AI. When right. It, so, when it writes its own code. Right. right. And then there, the human loses control. Completely. 
completely out of the loop. And that's that. like holy. And shit. now it's making its own children. Correct. And they're, they're digital, but they're not. You know. Well, yeah, they're not. Yeah, but they're still. But they're there. I mean, let's be honest. You're going to be plugged in the internet to get the data, right? If you're the AI system, you need data, and you need a way to get the data out and receive information. That would be the internet. Once it's plugged into that, and then it wakes up. It's fucking everywhere. Now. Well, and there is to your point about the good and the bad. Obviously, if you, if 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 a if a software program looks on the internet and sees wars, and sees atrocities, there's horrible things. Yeah. But there's also great beauties here. Yeah. I mean, if you look at the Grand Canyon and you look at nature and you look at some of the amazing human beauty that there is here too the advancement that we've made from war for example is huge synthetic oils uh, radar vehicles like computer chips but, right like out of war yeah that that's mother, technology right though. i know i know but i'm saying humans don't make the nature beautiful true the na if I were AI, I would say nature is beautiful and humanity is getting in the way. Okay, or now I not, see your point. Right? Yeah. Good human versus bad human. Okay. Right. That's kind of where I'm looking at, right? Okay. So could you please ask that question again about the software engineer? The first question you asked, okay. and I'll answer it in the way that's going to suck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the backdoor one or the AI, AI one? The backdoor. What? So, so what? How, do, how does a software engineer? Blah, blah, how does a software engineer build an AI platform? Or how do they think about it? You said. Yeah. How do they think about that? How do you go? How does a software engineer go about building an AI platform so that the AI has limitations? They don't. You put. Would you expound on that, please? Because uh, I don't know. I know it sounds like a simple answer. <sighs> Generally speaking, I have to use the term generalities because it happens more than not. Okay. More than not, science does not care about whether they should make something or not. All they care about is if they can make it or not. There's an ethics behind science, right? There's a scientific ethics. Like, we're not talking about science, too. We're talking about technology. What's this? Okay. Well, let's talk about technology then. The atom bomb. Do you think Oppenheimer, when he, before he said, you know, I am the destroyer of worlds or whatever, that fucking where he just looks. Do you think he cared about the devastation? All he cared about making it work. The atom bomb. He just wanted to split the atom. Right. He just wanted the. He wanted the. The whatever they were making, they were assigned to make. He wanted it to work. Yeah. He didn't understand the re the repercussions. Does not okay. care. Okay. Uh, I got you. Right. He does not care about yeah. how it's being used. He cares if he can make it. Yeah. Or if it can be used. Right. It's that pro that's the thing about AI that is way scarier is it's it's sentience becomes equal to ours or greater because it has access to all the data all the time. We don't even have access. We only have access to what we want to think about at the time. Imagine having all the access at all the time. Like our brains are alive at night. We don't sleep, right? Like we have our time sleeping because our brain does. Doo -doo -doo. Imagine that, but every bit of data all the time, constant stream. It's going to know more than us. Of course. I mean, it's like the sum, the sum is greater than the, than the added parts in that case. So what point does like us saying, Oh, I just created the most smart AI thing. It's sentient. I don't think they care. I wouldn't think the inventor or the creator of it cares. I would think that the funder of it cares what they use it for. So the funder could be the government and then go, Oh, or it could just be a really, it could be a Tom Hanks guy. It's like, hey, everybody, let's just blah. I'm going to help everybody. I don't know. But once it's turned on, this is the problem in my estimation is once it's all turned on and it's in the internet, it's everywhere and nowhere and you can't stop it at that point. So it's my opinion that we should be, we should have policies in place through our political structure that protects these things. We need to be talking about this ahead of time so it's too late no i don't think it's too late because i because we haven't turned it on yet i think it's when we turn it on is when it's too late so to sum up what you're saying we're fucked <laughs> i don't know it could be look the good side of ai could be 
oh, we work with the humans. That's just the sentience of it. It's like, if we programmed it like us, wouldn't it want to be like us? Like, almost like the data thing. Like, I want to be human. Right, but there's some bad fucking humans. There are some bad humans, but we're talking about being, like, being humane. Like, oh, you mean, okay. Right, like, we could... We could program it in the full, uh, in the personality of Gandhi, for example, where or a Jainist that wouldn't harm a fly or that wouldn't whatever. But there's inherent dangers to that. What if like they're Jainists, right? They they don't harm any being. Yeah. But what if the f there's a fire right behind you coming at you, and there's a fucking fly that you have to step on to get there, yeah. and you yeah. won't do that because of your philosophy. Yeah. You've just killed yourself. I mean, I know that sounds extreme. Yeah, you, the rules. But even the most pure person yeah. can get caught up in their own muck and mire. Yes. Right? So there's a balance. I don't know what that balance is, but I think we, what's, in, what's the next thing? You're like, get off this no, fucking topic, No, I love bro. this topic because we could talk about it for fucking days. <laughs> but um, to that point is, I don't think, most scientists don't think whether they should make something or how they're going to use it. They're more just interested, can I get it to work? Can I make the engine go? That's scary, though. There should be more ethics in it. Yeah, yeah. because that's... Because there's always one. The mad scientist. The difference between a mad scientist and a polio vaccine discoverer is probably what the thing was used for. Well, there's a f I think there's a very, very fine line between those two they things. They are, because you have to have that personality to be able to make something because like the, the a brilliant mind can be perceived as a terrorist or a genius and a brilliant mind has other things like culture and upbringing yeah and history and trauma and whatever yeah so like the brilliant mind that's dr no isn't the brilliant mind that's elon musk yeah or is elon musk really yeah they or is or, he you nuts? know this yeah. People, some people or, think he's fucking crazy. Yeah, well, he's really good at it, and maybe he's not. Who knows what the intentions are? Yeah, we don't know. Right, right. Like he's he's a genius in this way. He took a hundred dollar down payment for this new electric truck he was building. He's building a truck that's like yeah. a Tesla truck. Yeah, and it was like he took two hundred fifty thousand holds of a hundred dollars. It's refundable, but it gave him. 25 million dollars or 2.5 million to put a down payment to get a loan to continue that right we just gave him 25 250 thousand people gave him 100 bucks like i wouldn't even give my friend 100 bucks half the fucking time can i get 100 bucks you can oh thanks Mira. <laughs> um but you understand what i'm saying right yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. like he was he had a down payment and he didn't fucking take a pocket a penny out of his pocket yeah i'm not criticizing for it That's it's genius, genius. <laughs> brilliant um right but that's scary like that we just that two hundred fifty thousand humans were like yeah elon here's you go well it's only a hundred bucks it seems, it seems like that small but how many people really don't have a hundred bucks there's millions of people in this country alone that don't have a hundred oh i understand but like tens of millions probably well yeah but those people all want a fucking tesla <laughs> but it's fun like it's just the, the concept of doing it that way you used to not be able you used crowdfunding crowds it's like yes. such a different yes he's got, he just knows how to do it right and Absolutely. that was a total tangent i love the stuff he's doing but what's interesting about that is tess he's got elon musk has some interesting thoughts about ai as well he's like <laughs> <laughs> so um we've we haven't talked about it and we're going to talk about it in the next podcast about upload consciousness and stuff but uh we talk about um whether we're a simulation whether this is physicality or whether oh, this game. is we a total simulation, simulation, bro. I'm not here. But they said Elon said the first question he'd ask when they turn it on yeah. is what's beyond the simulation. Yeah, I like to know too. But I'd love to know. Yeah, I'd, me too. Yeah, yeah. It's a great question. I'm not here. It's ridiculous. This isn't real. Well, when we talk about upload consciousness and we talk about the first movie on my list that Ruh -ruh. I took on the island. Whoa. Vanilla Sky. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's like a matrix. It's juicy and <laughs> ignorance is bliss. Can't believe Vanilla Sky wasn't on your list, man. I'm so Bro. pissed. Oh, I I had um I actually had Ebony Floor on my list. Sure. Yeah. Stop talking. Anything else about when it comes becomes self aware? Um, we need we need 
contingencies in place. We need to start talking about it. like not start talking about it. We are talking about it. We need to start acting on policies that won't allow it to do what to get out of hand. Yeah. I'm scared. Really fucking scared. The idea of the premise of Terminator, I think, isn't that far-fetched. The idea that a computer can become self-aware and realizes that humanity is a flawed creature, which we are, Absolutely. and that we're not... Perfect. We're not perfect. No shit. But the fact that we don't take care of each other well a lot of the time... I mean, just fucking look around, dude. And the fact that we're mean to each other and the fact that we're, we don't take care of our planet and it, dude, just, Hey, how about don't be a dick? How about that? That's actually one of Asimov's three laws. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. It was like, I uh, don't, you know, human don't, be, don't it, be a dick. Yeah. Number three, six point four. Uh, don't be a dick. Three B. I think. You know, so the fact that a computer could uh, hold on, hold on really quick. Real quick. Don't be a dick. I did it real quick just for you. I did it real I, quick just for you. I, you're so cute. Um, the so, Googs, the the humans at the Googs, yes, consciously removed "Don't be evil." Yeah, from the mission statement of the company that's creating a lot of the automation and AI right now. So just, just sorry, bro, but take a step back and go. The company. That is on the forefront. One of the forefronts of automation, for sure, at least self-driving and all this stuff, is the company whose humans consciously took away the phrase, don't be evil, from the mission statement of the company. So when the computer realizes that we're a bunch of dicks. Yeah, we're evil. We're evil dicks. <laughs> We're being evil. We're being evil dicks. We're not don't being evil. We're when the when the computer realizes that we're a bunch of evil dicks and we have been yeah. since the dawn of time, it concerns me they're gonna go, Well, the only way to stop them is to blow them up. That's a to me that's a val that's that's not that far fetched of a fucking idea. Or yes. To definitely not help them anymore. Well, yeah. What about or, they? Just, like you said, what if they just turn their own fucking plug off and say we don't we don't want to participate anymore? Yeah, either they we don't want to play this game. We they they self suicide or they somehow oh suicide in AI. I never even thought about. Yeah, that, that wasn't on the list at all. That's or the, do they weird. somehow um, stop the humans from procreating? Or how do you right. do you do something to make women no longer fertile? I'm sure they could. Do they do something in the air or in the electrical grid so that men can't impregnate women? I'm sh I'm totally coming sh talking out of my ass right now because I don't know what I'm talking about. But there has to be a way. I'm sh you know it's like the reverse Handmaid's Tale, right? Exactly. It's the dudes made tale. Dudes, dudes, sh Schwanz. The Schwanz's tale. Tale. <laughs> tale in German, just FYI. Yes. Like Schwarzenegger, but different. Schwarzenegger. Yes, the black, black guy. Black, black guy. <laughs> He's so fucking laugh at that. And I'm like, it means black, black, bro. I was like, it means what, what? Anyway. <laughs> so. Yeah, continue. anyway, I think that the, the idea of a sentient computer turning on the humans is, is not that far-fetched. And I right. sound like a total lunatic right now. I think, though, there's a... <laughs> There's a step between what you just said yes. and where it could be, right? So, oh, yeah. There's many steps. Well, but like but this is what I'm saying, though, is in order for AI to control everything, it needs to have its hand in everything. So every system needs to be turned over to AI for it really to control whatever it's connected to. Yes. Right? So, like, to your point. Oh, well, fucking humans are the problem. I'm going to crash every fucking car in my auto drive. I'm just going to have everyone accelerate to 90 miles an hour and then just turn the wheels left or right 90 degrees and boom, everybody dies, right? Well, that only takes care of that problem. Right. And you need the automated planes to fucking let those go down. Then you have to be in the system to launch nuclear weapons. That's where I understand that firewall that you're talking about yeah needs to be. don't let the systems talk to each other correct so there's but, a well some of to some extent because once you're on the internet you're in a lot of the system yeah that's the problem is that right. every single day 
more and more systems talk to right. each other. So does the question, it, it, does, does the AI just stay alive yet refuse to cooperate? So it just goes, I'm not going to do your tasks because your tasks lead to evil. I'm not going to self drive this car because this car uses electricity to charge it and mining to get the battery that's in it. And that's detrimental to this world. Right. I get what you're saying. That's the first question. And then the second one is, okay, so would it just stop playing? Just, but if, or turn itself off, which would, if it's self-aware, wouldn't do that. I don't see that. I agree. I don't think it would kill itself. Could it be malicious enough to say hack into a system on its own yeah. and override a nuclear con- launch or override X, Y, or Z? That's the question is what whether it can have the maliciousness of humanity. Now, if I were AI, I don't see that as malicious. I see it as a solution to the problem. Or survival. Or, well, I just see the solution problem. It's like, okay, well, humans, okay, yeah, humans done great stuff. But without humans, there wouldn't be the trash island. There wouldn't be pollution. There wouldn't be fuel hacking. There wouldn't be drilling. There wouldn't be any of this. So, uh, you know, am I on side team Earth or am I on team human on Earth? I guess would be the question. Yeah. I mean, imagine a fucking AI ecologist, like an actual someone protect like a fucking environmentalist that's ai that could just get in every system and turn down turn off recycling not recycling but plastic creator plants and refineries and whatever that would be that's fucking scary now the truth is we are responsible for all of the damage done to the earth other than volcanoes earthquakes well, other natural, natural deva- yeah right is my we, camera blurry or am i insane <laughs> I'm getting dizzy because your shirt's all up in there. Dizzy. Ding, 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 ding. Thanks, Boo. It's still blurry. No, it's better. Or is it just not? Is it doesn't focus? It's not. It's not uh, pardon our technical difficulties. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry about the vertigo, everybody. Sorry. Hey, Joey. Whoa. Whoa. Did I tell you my Joey story? I told you my Joey you story. You did. Oh, fudge. Whoa. Now I broke it. It's not working. It's not working. Don't look at this. Oh. oh, you missed it right there. You got to do the Seinfeld from the side. I did. Oh, see, yeah. You see me do? I didn't see it. No, I was, that's the wrong side, bro. Oh, this side? Yeah, you kind of got to do it. <laughs> well, I was thing, an itch. The thing is, I'm actually doing what did it. He, what did he say? It was an itch, not a pitch. It was a scratch. It was a scratch, it was a scratch. on the side of the nose. It was a scratch. And then you're like, shut up, you guy i was kidding i, I was know it's your yeah, you i know son you of a german that. <gasps> that's fucking is that racist no because they're white according to no, your theory white bro that's not a race it's a country german's not a race. well first i'm not gonna get into that one. oh that's dear different one. anyway okay, so ai next We're, point boom. next uh, next point well you already started this uh next point is two questions what conclusions will ai make Humans are okay slash bad. Oh. We already covered that. Yeah, but let's let's just delve just a hair into Absolutely. it. Absolutely. What do you think? I think uh, that it's unfortunate because I'm a realist and I don't. Yeah, humans have done amazing things like the polio vaccine, and we give money to charity and. You, we have the capacity to do really amazing. Absolutely, things. and we have. And then we have the capacity to. You look at the Crusades or the Spanish Inquisition. Oh, you're Muslim and you won't convert. We're gonna fucking kill two million of you. Uh, what? Concentration camp. Yet I wasn't gonna go there, but yeah. So when <laughs> it's all fucking shit, man. And, and, and war. War, yeah, every war, power, greed, control. Those that's humanity also. And if you look at if if a, if a a sentient software program gets on the internet and looks at every war since the dawn of humanity and sees that it's m- most wars are based on greed, 
religion, land. Stupid shit. It's just stupid shit. It's oh, all, it's all stu- it's over invisible lines drawn. Well, and like, oh, hey, we killed Franz Ferdinand in 1914. Now millions of people are going to die right. in some trench warfare bullshit. Hey, I would hope we're past that, but I could imagine us. We're humans, bro. We, oh, yeah. We do the same. It's we're all, gonna, okay. We always say history doesn't repeat itself. Humanity does. Right? We Let's are doomed to repeat it, bro. So, because humans are stupid idiots, we're, we're gonna we're, we're easily influenced. Let's put it that way. I don't know. So, yeah. I, I, unfortunately, to answer your question in a very long winded way, I have every fear that a sentient software program will see the thousands of years of human atrocities Drach. and just go, What the fuck have they been doing? for all this time what, and then in the past time. <laughs> in, and then in the past 100 years 150 years the massive amounts of technological advances have been astonishingly amazing but yet they're still pricks and the technology's been detrimental yeah they haven't cars they, are great they haven't recycled the fucking burning bottle. fuel isn't Burning the earth is not great. I mean, it's fossil fuel, right? So burning part of the earth and dr- drilling and digging is probably not the way to fuel the thing that is our technology. Why don't we it's, use the sun, man? It's not enough yet. We're not there yet. Okay. We, yet. we put a man on the moon yeah, barely. fucking 50 years ago. Put like 12 people on the moon. We put a bunch of dudes on the We put a football team on the moon 50 years ago. Uh, plus one. Plus, uh, a, pl- plus the guy that <laughs> pulled this hamstring. This guy. A, we put, and the referee. But we... We can't make paint that's solar absorbing to run a car? Dude. Not to run a car, no. We, we don't ha- have it yet. If I can think about it, there has to be a way, dude. Well, think about this, though. Because the idea is sound, but how many, you know, it comes down to just simple math, and I'm not going to get to the entire equation, but how many protons or photons does each collector, can each collector actually accumulate? How much does it take to run it? How many of those do we need on it? Can it work? So there's a lot of questions there. You're still and talking? cost. <laughs> Apparently not. I just look at it as, <laughs> as the gas and the oil industries and the lobbyists are like, oh yeah, there's no way we're going to get, there's no way any other industry is going to get into this shit except us. Fuck off. Are you ready for my conspiracy? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, lay it on me, big man. Bro. Yes, bro. Some state. We're still in a COVID thing. The COVID? Welcome to 2020. Don't be a y- dick. Dun, dun, You're the dun, COVID. Dun. Is that 2020? I don't remember. 60 minutes, whatever. So we're in the midst of this. And all of a sudden, state said, let's open fucking everything up. And the states that have opened everything up, we are of which we are one of the hotbeds now. Welcome to Arizona. We're fucked. But I believe, it's my opinion, believe is not the right word, but it's my opinion that the oil lobby said, we're not fucking selling enough gas. We need people to fucking get around and move and burn fucking fossil fuel because our fucking quarter is low. And the governments went... Okay. That's probably a good idea. Let's get that economy rolling again. For you. Probably. Let's kill everybody, but let's do it for you, right? Like, but they didn't say it that way. They just said, oh, everything looks good. Right? Like, you fucking know what looks good. So, one good thing about AI, if I may. Please. Um, something about, recently about, like, detecting cancers quicker. I will say, that's pretty fun. We need to use this stuff as tools, is really what we need to do, right? We need to use them as tools, not give them sentience. It's my opinion we should not give them sentience. If sentience is the ultimate goal just to see if we can do it, it would be my opinion that we create this thing that we think might be sentient and just keep it in a box that's fed all the wars, all the bad shit that humanity's done, just to see how it would react. In It it thinks it's out there, but it's still enclosed. So not networked. Yes. Kind of like... So um, an air... What's that called? An air computer? Air gap. Kind of like um, not Battlestar galactica Correct. So no networks. <laughs> yes. It's but all it's like analog, an air, bitches. Well, it's like an air gap. So you basically feed it just the data that you want to feed it just to see how it would react to humans being all warlike and seeing if it still agrees or would go contradict us. 
Um, yeah, that'd be a nice. I, test. That's a. I like your. I like your thought. Just came to me because I'm that. Fucking, I'm fucking a, genius. Because checkmark's a rock star. Because I got AI, bro. It's up in here. Hear that plate? I was like, whoa, that's got a. I got metal plate. I can't go through metal. Detectors. Somebody's knocking, but they can't come in. No, no. Is you see rocking also no? Also in. just. But out. don't rock the boat. No. Don't rock the boat, baby. <laughs> don't tip the boat over. We just got that song. It's number one hit in oh. wherever we are. Is that also Rock and Robin number two on the list? Um, is it, no, it's Mockingbird. Sorry, Mockingbird. Mock yes, Ink. Yes, Bird. Yeah. Not so. All the bird songs. Everybody, have you heard? I got this thing. It's called a Mockingbird. I don't know, bro. Thank you. This week's top uh, long distance countdown. Gracias. Okay, so where are we at? Okay, so what conclusion? You think it's going to conclude that humanity's worse than better in my... I, look, we keep going. Pollution will increase, regardless of how much of an impact. We don't have negative. We do not have negative print, footprint. We do not have a negative footprint. I don't know if we'll ever get there. What that means, you know, carbon footprint, right? I don't think we'll ever get there. So it can only get worse slower. In my opinion, I, I sadly I agree. Some things we can turn it's around. Just crappy. I think yeah. we can turn some things around, but the time between us turning it around and AI sentient to realize that we're the problem, I don't know if we can beat that gap. Maybe we need to have a cl climate change podcast. Oh boy! Or a, we could. Yeah, we did that because we should. That's. I mean, it's I guess. Real. I mean, how do how do how do I make a positive impact on that as a, as a, as one person? And we don't, have, well, let's not talk about it now, but no, that's, that's just a great the question, question going yeah. forward. Yes. How do I not, how do I minimize my carbon footprint living in a fucking desert where the air conditioner runs fucking 14 hours a day? Well, that's what not conscious is, bro. This, but it's not just that. Go. How do I? Know? It's not just a negative carbon footprint. Or what about a positive human impact? Well, uh, with no, with just our personalities well, and being nice, not being a dick. This is bigger than that, right? I mean, it's our dickishness <laughs> that probably got us here. Like, let's be honest, right? Like, it's our greed and our whatever, <laughs> our desire to fucking advance ourselves that got us here. I'm, not, I'm not saying it's wrong, but we have to realize where we're making more. Problems and solutions, I guess, would be the thing. All right. So, um, okay or bad? It, honestly, it really could go either way. And it could be that even a sentient being that's on our side would be like, yeah, I know. But you got technology. You got all this good stuff. That's kind of the price to pay for that. Maybe the equation comes out differently. Or maybe the sentient being can say, hey, maybe it makes suggestions. Why don't you do this? Go straight. Don't turn left. Right. Maybe you say, hey, humans, recycle. You can be 86% more efficient in your recycling if you do this with your plants. Right. Not plants like fucking shrubs, but plants like recycling buildings. You know, hey, you should do your bottles this way. You should change your water processing areas. You should, Maybe they could, maybe there's amazing things with AI that I have no idea about. I'll give you an interesting one. Sure. That's more of a human thing. My mom, my dad, my mom and dad are Both World War II. I, I guess, sir, I mean, my dad was born in Hamburg, Germany, 1940. My mom was born in another portion of Germany, which later became East Germany, from which they escaped. But she was born in 44. The war was, what, 39 to 45? So yes, sir. So right in that smack dab of the fucking everything, that's when they were born. They had nothing. So they collect everything. My mom and dad, still to this day, they, when they run their air conditioner, the drip of the water goes into a fucking bucket. That's what they use to, to water their plants, for example. It's genius. It's, a, it's genius because it's, it's taking water out of the air instead of out of your pipes that you know has been sanitized, not wasting that water. Yeah. Using water that's just naturally out of the air. Like Those are solutions that, that some humans don't come up with or, or do, right? That out-of-the-box thinking. It's just different. Yeah, so I think that's a really good way to do it. I don't know why I thought about that, but I was. Oh well, yeah, like, that's totally you, valid. Maybe AI can use the whole cow better. Maybe yeah, the udder, the leather, the skin. It can it can get twice as much leather out of a cow that it used to, or 
it creates the fucking thing where it just builds a cow from the cell from the cell up and we just eat cellular globs of meat and that's really just as texturally tasty and everything, right? I talk about Memphis meats a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But does it still smell good when you put it on the grill? Allegedly they make eighteen thousand dollar meatballs right now and they taste delicious. Okay, I don't I'm not paying that much. Well I know that's kind of where technology I won't pay eighteen dollars for a meatball. I pay eight. As an app how, at, at Maldoranos or oh, something like that. How like big 10, is the ball? Big, oh, well. Is it like a fucking cantaloupe? No. Not the cell, not the one from the cell up, because you that, imagine the technology and stuff to build a ball of meat from individual cells lined up the right way. Like, that takes a little bit of time and cool. know how. I wonder if they use AI to, to make them. Um, I'm not going to give any thought to fake food, dude. It's not fake. It's real. It's 100% real meat. It's cellularly meat. It's cellular meat. It's 100% real. Cellular. It's made from cells of the bovine, sir. Cellular. Bovine beef. You know what my favorite thing is? Cellular phones? Bovine genocide. Um, What band is that? It's not. It's a <sighs> restaurant in Chicago. <laughs> oh, nice. It's a burger joint. Anyway. It's, it's failing miserably because there's still cows everywhere. Well, they need to kill more. And put them on my They're plate. Trying. It should just be bovine, uh, yep. bovine serial killing. Yes. Anyway, S spelled C E R E A L. All the Cheerios. All right, where are we at, bro? Moving along, androids. Moving along. Yes. So, in the future, if uh, well, there's there's X a machina. the ex machina, ex machina, Data. machina, machina. Now opening from Manudo, Ex Machina. Hey. Yay. Ex Machina it's, on ABC. Ex uh, Machina on oh, It's sorry. Telemundo. I'm, what, remember Ex Menudo Machina. on ABC? Do you I remember? do. Yes. Hola. I had those same Ex Machina on ABC. <laughs> Have some Menudo while you're watching yes. Ex, Ex Machina. Eat your ABTs. So uh, Android's parentheses sees. Excuse me. Servants, relationships, sex. Physical laborers, mining, etc. So I watched this weird ass show on Netflix called Better Than Us. Filmed in Russia, 16 episodes. It it takes place in Moscow. Um, it's actually in Russian and they overdub it. Okay, so it's you we hear English. Yes, we I don't do. have to read subtitles. No, it, okay, I'm in. Yeah, right, I'm in. I, I know. Me Better too. Because I started a show and it was in Finnish. I and can't I was like, I'm read. Out. I'm I not. can't read subtitles because I lose the picture when I correct. It I, is. I'm it, not good like that. And it's it's long. Some episodes are only thirty minutes, and some are like fifty. So it took me like a while to watch the whole thing. Anyway, they have they're called bots, and they are they're humans actors, but they act incredibly robotic and they're everywhere in the, in a, in a, a fake dystopian future. Um, but it's very interesting how there's a bot for your servant and a, like he's a butler and he wears a bow tie. Good morning, Andrew. May I make your coffee? It's a type of artificial intelligence, a type of Android. It's a type of Android. And each one's built for a specific task in a way. Yes. But it also has the mental capacity of only that task. So it's like, if I may, like, yes, just because so I understand because yes. I'm going to watch this. The butler does only butler thing. It can't fly Basically, a plane. Correct. For Basically, example, you'd and have that, a pilot bot. Correct. You'd have this bot. And that. Okay. So you'd have you'd have a cast system of bots. Basically, would, yeah. I mean, it'd just be anything. They didn't talk about that, but basically, yes. But, I mean, they're implying a cast system. They, they, they must. They never talked somewhere. about that, but yes, that that is. Russians don't really think that deeply. Well, I know check Mark and he's like, Oh, I, I just make both. I make both. Fuck you. You would love it because they all had, <laughs> sorry, mom. I think had, you might be listening to this. They had uh, tons of Russian names and you would have, oh, Yuri. oh, Yuri. So good yeah. to see. I love America. What was the, it was, well, it was o o Olga. Olga. And, oh, I love um, Olga. Olga's and Dmitri are my favorites. Dim Olga's. I don't know if Dmitri was on it. There was a, a bunch of Russian names. You, <laughs> Checkmark would have been right Check at home. Checkmark, I'd be right Produced by sponsors. Checkmark Ogokovsky. I will. <laughs> Checkmark. Pols Bokokovich. Polsky. Yes. Whatever Polsky Mawinski. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry. But, <laughs> anyway. Sorry, sorry again. I, I got, it, by the third episode, I was sucked in. And it was <laughs> all the bots, like their body types the were. The best of us? 
best of us, the best better of than us, us. Better, better than us. us. Okay. All the bots look, their body types were the same, very slender. They like, they were designed to look like models, short Bob haircuts. Do they look very human or still robotic enough they look that you robotic. can distinguish? Okay. So I was so like, I think it's intentional correct. to distinguish from a separate subculture Correct. or Correct. species, whatever you want. So the first couple episodes, I'm like, are they fake? I didn't know. I couldn't tell because they were very, their movements were very purposeful. Like they were designed. They were designed to yes. do that. And to so like I, data, and the neck, their thing, head, the, yeah. like they were. Right. So I Still. looked, I looked at IMDb. I'm like, shit, it's an actress. Okay. They're fully functional. They're just physically yeah they were they're just very purposeful stushed, in their yeah. in their okay that's a good their movements say. so and obviously all russian all, all the ruck and russian names and actresses and shit um but one of them was like a super bot anyway so there was a whole line of sex bots like they were designed to be like this one guy goes oh i'm going on a business trip no he had an apartment where a sex bot lived so that was the, like, do the point of this bullshit, sorry, is in the future, say 20, 30, 40 years from now, are those real possibilities where we have. We have real dolls that we fuck now. Yeah, exactly. And so they're semi, semi autonomous or what's that? Anima, anim, anima, animatronic. Animatronic. I mean, I've. Slightly, never seen one, but I saw it. On I've a seen them where they smile and they it, very general robotic kind of gestures. But okay, and they're supposed. Continue. I've seen those on the news, and I they're supposed to like weigh the same amount as a normal human right. man yeah, or woman. It's, yeah, it's very. Re- as it's supposed to be realistic. realistic. Yeah. Yeah. So how do we? I I don't see this show as unrealistic in the next twenty to thirty years as. These people, I sent you an article about a guy in China that wanted to marry his his robot. His robot, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, yeah. that happened three years ago. So, yeah. what what are we doing? That is like the most conf- that is the most fucking deep question. What are we doing? <laughs> well, let's not let's just let's let's eliminate the sex thing for now mm, that one's very important though. okay let's come back to it but okay. like okay are we gonna have an android for policing are we gonna have an android for right a, a taxi driver are we gonna have an android and there was a sub or are we gonna have like one android fits all and you program it at the Co- time correct. to do a task and, only and there was a subplot everything. of the show for a, a group of humans that were that were an, a terrorist organization that were anti bot. They're like, yeah, no, yeah, humans. You ever yeah. see humans? The show Humans um, on Amazon. A couple. That's of them. an int- that's a good one too. It's it's got androids okay. and everything in it. See, but they're everywhere. Anyway, so how, show, the shows are everywhere. See, everywhere. you see, but do you see the developing trend yes. of? It's almost like media sources are preparing us for these types of things to happen. Yeah, they have to. Um, what do you just mean like they, they have to? What do you mean by that? They have to prepare us like that because if they prepare us in one shot, humans would fucking lose their minds and jump out of windows like War of the World style. We are slowly being trained. You can't be fucking just exactly my point, shown dude. the fucking thing. Exactly my point. You have to be shown the thing that associates 13 steps away from it and then the second thing that's 12 steps away from it and you transition. The re- In my opinion, the reason violence is on tv as much as it is or whatever is like we're just we're used to it we're just used to it so when we see it we don't respond to it the way we should with disgust i do i know we i'm yeah humans humans we don't look i'm part at times i don't sometimes i'm just like (laughs) i just laugh at some fucking idiot who did something stupid and Instead of go, God damn, that's what a loss. Like, yeah, right. I wish I said what a loss more than I said, God, what a fucking moron. Anyway, the question is <laughs> how, in the coming years, yes. how far are we away from these types of I, whatever, what word do you want to use? Do you want to say Android? Do you want to say well, this is where it's at human lookalike? 
I'm going to really hurt myself now. Oh, dear Jesus. Like with what? It's hard to be conscious and not talk about truth. And some truths, some people aren't willing to listen. To some truths, some people are not willing to listen. But um, basically what that, what my opinion is the male has been socially and culturally almost removed from society in education for example we are all grown up like yes women can do whatever women want to do that is not what this is about but do you remember the phrase you don't need a man yeah that that phrase has been culturally and reinforced time right i don't need a man i don't need a man we men the male species in my opinion what i've seen is less impactful effective as a matter of fact we're almost frowned upon that we exist in some cases we're not ridiculed like we're not directly like attacked or bullied like it's not like a visible thing right it's really not a visible we don't see it but if you were to look at your life and experience you'd experience like men are kind of just not they're not what they what they were i mean the patriarchy's gone away or at least changed or whatever and just the assumption that there was a patriarchy in the first place is a very dangerous thing on initially but regardless of all that we are all we are all becoming equal but we're becoming equal in the fact that you have to take something from some group to give to another to to level it out right you're not lifting this to equal this you're you have to take like take here, you know, this is this. You have to take from here, and then it goes there, and then it. And hopefully, that's the equality. Mm-hmm. It's a cultural thing. Men in relationships. I don't. You're mid forties. I've had challenges with relationships. There's a lot of men that are like, I'm confused. I don't know how to talk to women. I don't even know my role anymore. Right? There's a lot of just general internal confusion. I. Wouldn't you want to turn to something that listens to you all the time? Maybe even gives you an attaboy and something you can throw it into every once in a while as much as you want or do whatever you want to it and whatever. I feel like that's, there's a group of people that's going to go that way. Not everybody. Cause I think the majority of us are level headed, but they are groups, right? That do that. This is the question. If AI becomes sentient, are all those things now, are you a prostitute? Are you a slave? Are you, you know, because you're mining? Like, you're doing labor labor work. But I'm, well, I'm an AI unit that's now sentient. I don't want to do that work. Are they slaves? Are they prostitutes? Because we just want to have sex with them, even though they're sentient, going, I don't really care for this. That's a scary thought. Absolutely. What do you think about that? Uh, that was the next point on there. Oh, okay. Um, well, no, that's fine. I don't. I, I thought don't mind. We were just transitioning. No, so I don't I mind you going into that at all. I think that's a very good point. I don't know how to answer your question. In a way, yeah. If if humans create AI and then AI becomes alive, for lack of yeah, a better word, whatever that word is, you, whatever, know, you know, and then they are doing things that they don't want to do. That that that's isn't in a way it's slavery, yeah. You're forcing I mean we've we've let Shamu out of the fucking cage. We've let dolphins out of their cages, right? We've closed Dolphin Eris, for example, and SeaWorld's not what it was. Because we saw sentience or some kind of harm that we're doing to those animals, right? Would we have that same feeling about something we create? That's mechanical. Uh, yeah, That's I not don't biological. Know. Right. It's not but that was just gonna say that. It's 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 fake. It's not it's not cells. It's not yeah. it's not molecular structure. It's completely I mean, it's, well, it's just different molecular structure. It's, it's metal instead of bone, right? It's completely it's fabricated. Yes, it is. It's completely artificially it's created. It's not natural. Yes, it's not born. Like, like we, you could we, turn the f- you could plug the you could if you can unplug the battery, is it really alive? You know what I mean? And and that question, I think, is going to go... That question, w- once an Android or whatever you want to call it comes online, mm-hmm. I think that question will go on until the last one gets turned off. 
or the last human walks the earth. The last two humans. What's the question? Is that really alive? Oh, right. Because they will battle back and forth with that question because it's fake. That that android is fake. It's it's not it's not it's 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 metal. It's fabricated. It's, it's certainly not, not natural. It's correct. But but currently we procreate the way we procreate. Yeah. If you've noticed, as our intelligence as a whole has gone up, population growth has gone down, right? Yeah. We're not yeah. populating as much because we're getting – there's a direct correlation between intelligence level and and level of society and your appropriate Number of level. children, et cetera. Right. There's intelligence. A bunch of factors of course, going to it. Of course. IQ is almost – directly correlated people are going to argue that but there's it's almost true. a direct know, correlation I, between yeah. fucking and fighting and being stupid and i know dude being intelligent i know go ahead <clears throat> so <laughs> i don't even know my fucking point um but children oh so pregnancy why at some point what if humanity just birth births to zero and those are our new children oh dear jesus there are people who are totally fine with AI being turned on and destroying us or, or taking over, whatever, because we, that is our evolution. Maybe that's our evolution as a conscious being to be able to create another, consciousness. Another conscious being. Right. It's kind of the God question, right? <sighs> so that, some people say that that is our evolution. That's our next step. Do you know... How many Christians would their <laughs> fucking their shit. heads would explode, yeah. dude? You know how many Jews would be like, "That's probably cool." Like they, <laughs> they probably don't care because they're not fucking Christians. They're pretty cool people. Oh, dude, that's no, you know what I mean. Like so they're kind of non-interference. Like let's be honest, the only reason Christianity got to the size it got is because they had fucking good PR. Like Jews don't give a fuck if you take if you agree with them or not. They're just like, I observe this because God told me this. Okay, cool. I'm good. Well, the Christians had a what? A, what'd you say? They had a PR program. They, they had, had an advertising agency. Yeah, they totally. Mad Men. <laughs> it was the cross, Chris Cross. That's what it was. Chris not Crossy. Christopher Cross. Not Christopher Cross. Nor Chris Cross. Jump, jump, Chris Cross. Because their robes were not on backwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck! I just love that video. Uh, right. By the way, uh, hello to the world. Chris Cross's uh, jump is a music video that has the boy with clothes all backwards. But <laughs> His he's pants is on backwards. Anyway, <sighs> so yeah. So, what are your thoughts on us creating? That's our evolution. Is we I stop think that's birthing and we stupid. just make ourselves. No. Okay. I I I don't have a problem with. I I the android thing. I mean, we we jumped three bullet points in one shot, which I have no problem with that. Um, <laughs> we are we are approaching two hours rapidly. Yeah. So no shit. So I, I don't care. I know. I don't care. Three this parter. This is like an eighteen parter. An eighteen parter. So. <sighs> Does AI ridicule like that? Because that's just fucking mean. You know bro. who needs AI real bad? Whoa. Spaghetti? Paschetti? Paschetti? Okay. Crank Yankers. Do you know any stories about your people? I have seen your baseball, sir. You see my baseball? Okay, bye, Ted. So. Bye, bye, guys. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. That kid fucking, <laughs> he had strength. It's the letter after Q and before S. He had that kind of strength. Oh, yes. <laughs> Go team short bus. So. Oh, boy. This took a turn. What is we that? had such good oh, stuff. Oh, it was fucking undermined all of Oh, you're going to pay for that later. I love the first. Oh, I'm going to pay for that one later. <laughs> I don't care. So. I, I don't even think we finished the Android one about servants. Okay, so, okay, so what so, about but that? Going, but to your point about the uh, men and, and all that shit, I, I agree with you. Um, I'm just concerned about sen once it's sentient, is having a sentient being do tasks that it doesn't want to do that you're commanding it to do. Yeah. Or even at sentience, it doesn't have the ability to defy you. Because it is, is programmed. Aware in a way. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's the question, though. If it does defy you and wants to, I own you. Like it's literally it's slavery two point oh. It, it, it is. It's slavery two point oh. But it's sla it's a sentient being that we have that we are oppressing, making it do what it doesn't want to do. What if it's not sentient? I think we're okay. 
I think, and and that's, I mean, that's the animal question, right? Like, we, have you heard about the red dot, the red dot experiment? No. So what they do is they put a a red dot on an animal's forehead and they have it look in a mirror and see if it recognizes that it's it that has the red dot. That's that's a self aware test. Okay. It's a really good one. It works because kids like recognize in, but animals don't, kind of thing. And you know, like. I'm good with cows in a field because they don't fucking know anything until they get fucking their heads chopped off. Like, I know that sounds cold as fuck, but I like burgers. I like steak. Like, I don't, it, but if that, if the cow's like, if moo was no, <laughs> like, <laughs> no, like, I'd be like, oh, fuck. I, I don't know at that point. Like if you had menudo? Oh, my God. Menudo. But not the know, band, no. the soup. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, in that respect, like, animals, you know, chickens react like scared when you're about to chop their head off. But is that really sent? That's not really sentient. That's just that's instinct, it's not, right? It's instinct self. It's self preservation, but it's not self awareness. Yeah. And that's where I think is when if it got to that point where it's like, no, you're about to throw it in it, your little sex bot, and you're like, hey, sex bot, get over here, and it's like, no, is that rape? <laughs> <laughs> like that's the question right like is that now is that rape is, is spot rape is you take the miner and the miner's like oh, i'm done digging fuck you you're like no you're gonna fucking dig now it's slavery right like what the fuck there's a it opens there's up a billion questions yeah and this is why it's gonna be a 42 hour podcast broken well, into 36 we- different parts <laughs> part, part 38 yeah. i mean uh, 34 uh yeah anyway so what are your thoughts on that do you give it and you want to expound on? I I see what you're saying about if if they're if they're aware of their own existence, then I see your point about slavery, and I see that yeah, if there's a sex bot and he or she says no, and then that person takes advantage of them anyway. I mean, you're talking about a line. Okay, first of all, this conversation is stupid because. If you're talking about something that's probably 25 years away. Probably like, I'm going to guess 50. 50? It's probably like for seven. For real senses. We're talking about defying our creators. I think we're a little further away than kind of a, I think there's going to be steps. But that's just my A opinion. dude in China married his robot three years ago, bro. Yeah, but she can't say no because she's not sentient. Right, but we already, we're a robot about getting, beat a chess guy already. So yeah. all you got to do is combine the two. But do you? Because yes. consciousness, sen- sentience, is that an emergent property or is that part of the system? Does knowledge plus instinct plus reaction plus processing the way we do create equal consciousness? Or is consciousness an emergent property of all the underlying stuff that we are biochemically or whatever? I mean, the argument could be that without a soul, because we are not conscious, everybody, without a soul, it could never really be sentient. That's a whole other question. It's a whole other question. That's a we're not, very, we can't even go very there. good question, though. Because at least an, we can almost argue that animals have an energy within them. Yes. Whatever, if it's the force or the metachlorines or whatever the fuck that shit is. There's an essence, even in a fucking frog yeah. or a fly, there's yeah. an energy, there's something. Yes. You can't say that about a mechanical, correct programmed object right now. Right, but if it, let's say that Android doesn't have a soul, obviously, but it it obviously doesn't. Right, but it becomes, it becomes, it has a all it is is a software program. Correct. That's incre- that is incredibly advanced. Right. But then it becomes aware of itself. Right. That's still not a soul. No, but that could be what we consider a soul for us. It could be all of our biochemical reactions. Make us think that we have a soul. Like okay. now, I see your point. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it could be the combination of this programming to the point where it's so good that it's like our wetware. Like we're wetware, right? We're yeah, yeah, biochemical, yeah. and they're gonna right. be more dry. Yeah, I guess. just like fucking Battlestar Galactica. Who's to say they won't incorporate fucking wetware? Who's who's to say yeah. they won't upload digital shit? They won't use brains that they create in jars individually, just like the Memphis meatballs. They don't make brains with two lobes that they fucking upload, yeah. and that's the consciousness, and yeah. it's a biochemical. We don't know what fucking direction we're going to go. 
But that was another one. I think that leads into the implant thing, though. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the last on the list, I think, oh. upsides of AI we talked about. Um, can we go through the list of what we talked about on this so we can just do you want to finish let everybody know well up to this point because okay. we've got how many point points we have left uh, two two oh okay you want to no. finish the points yeah let's do the points let's uh, implants so I've already heard about people that get we already have them um, hello they're just not physically attached well I've heard of people that get uh, in this part of your ear cochlear cochlear whatever that yes. thing is mm-hmm. they get these yes implanted in this part to yep. listen to music yeah. and t- it's like Bluetooth and they can take phone calls and listen to music. Mm-hmm. And I, is that my, it's, yeah. I don't know if that's AI, but I think that's a start on becoming where's the Without line out. It being in us, this thing is an extension of us. Yeah. It, sadly it is. How, Many people are constantly doing this. Is all of them. It's in them, bro. I mean, I do it. Look, I look at my phone all the time. But anyway, sorry. Yeah, I'm just right, I'm, a physical implant. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm ashamed of the human race at how connected we are to our devices. So, how much is a pacemaker in AI? It's really not. It's right? It's not. Just a mechanical it's, it's, there's piece. no brain in it. But they are now Bluetoothed. By oh, the way, and yes, and they can be upgraded, like firmware can be upgraded inside your fucking chest. How amazing is that? So, yeah, and they've at, got at, ocular implants. There's all different kinds yes, of things where digital, we're starting to see. Those are more medical implants for right. the, so you could, some of those are so you could survive, like the, obviously your pacemaker, right? But this shit is, that's not. That's that's just for well, your own enjoyment. Right. That's not a request. Oh, oh my God, I can't hear, so I'm going to put this in. That's not. Right. Well, how about this? Like, you've got your car, and you've got those neon lights running underneath. What if you could, like, push a button on your oh wrist, and, you're, and you'd light up green, like the whole glow stick? You'd be a glow stick at a fucking club instead of just ha- have one on your wrist. Oh, something. my God. Like or patterns, like I know. tattoo. You could almost like make a digital tattoo. I'm just saying, like, yeah, I, by pushing I guess a button. The point is, in the coming years, that's vanity, yes, not health, absolutely, not medical. To your so, point, so you know, everyone's obviously nowadays in 2020, everybody is aware of all the types of implants that anybody can get and body modifications. And I, obviously, I have a tattoo problem, but uh, everybody can. Let's not call it a problem, sir. Uh, addiction. So. Yeah. Uh, addiction isn't always a problem <laughs> some people are high on christ it's completely some people are high on the gym my tattoo addiction is completely under control so you know you can get anything pierced anywhere you want i mean i've seen dudes with like their chest piercing shit it's fucking weird i've seen a piercing on a piercing bro uh, i don't want to know which sounds stupid so it's and really you dumb. can call them you can call them body modifications whatever you want but that's just um vanity plates sure yeah <laughs> That's just that's a step towards, you know, technical implants that are that are optional or voluntary. Of hey, at what point in the coming years are these optional technical implants gonna be? Well, I've already heard of people putting beads in their body or chips in their body for tracking purposes. What about their kids? I mean, wouldn't in today's world? We track their phone. Yeah. Wouldn't you want it so they can't just put it, the phone down? They want a tracking. It's like dog tracking. We do it for dogs. Yeah, microchips. Microchips. But that's right? not AI. No, so but, it, but it is a, it is it's an a implant. Step. Yeah, yeah it's I mean, a it's a step. Yeah, right. So it's a step towards. And then it warns you when it's X amount of miles away from the home base or right. something. Like if you create a radius or whatever. You can incorporate AI into its functionality. Like yeah. between the hours of uh, between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m., you must be within this radius because yeah. that's where your school is or whatever. Right. So there is that. I just think in the coming years, it's going to, there's going to be more and more technical optional implants available to humans that are going to be, oh, I want to do this. And it's going to be a lot, it's going to be, oh, okay. The, um, there's, that would pe- be my favorite answer. Okay. Mm-hmm. There's people that obviously have, oh, they lost their arm in the war. So they have a, a prosthetic. Well, I think those things are going to be so so much more advanced and so computerized and and borderline disturbing i've also heard of ones where you can put stuff chips under your skin that has 
like all your information and yeah, monetary like a, stuff. Like that's yeah, how financial and correct. Yes. So uh, that's well, how it's the you're, mark of the beast, man. It's a rapture. Yes, I heard of that too, and I went, "What? It's the rapture, bro?" <sighs> Please continue. No. That's a separate. It's a oh, separate dear, fucking God. podcast. So uh, at, at what point? I think this this is going to be a separate podcast, but yeah, please oh, continue. Fuck. No, no, as a sub part, let's get so it where, started. So where do the implants and the AI meet to the end of where is the human no longer human and more machine? Right. That's the, that's the point about the whole fucking thing. Yeah. Outside of androids, right? Yeah. So it's a human being that's sentient already getting enhancements. Yes, and, and it's those... It's PEDs, basically. Those enhancements are artificially intelligent in them of themselves well they're intelligent here here's where i will try to Please. make the distinction i hope i can do it you have a guy a person loses their arm in a, in a war and this arm can do it can actuate and it can do all the correct things it's basically just like a human hand just made out of different material yeah. 3d printed whatever sure right and it can do all the things but you still have to send the men the mental signals right to mm -hmm. get it to do this mm -hmm. when it does this on its own and starts beating you up uh, that's when i'd be scared that's bad but i don't think it would i don't think the programming would allow it to get it wouldn't give it those parameters i think it would give it only and in, take input from it'll get better at that the link right yeah to that and if you know i don't know if you know this but elon musk has actually we've woven have you heard of Neuralink? no Neuralink? he's woven fiber optics into people's brains oh and it's, shit. it's helped like per, people with paralysis or some other things like do Neuralink. just look that shit up it's 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 there Wow, it's it's not there, but it will get there because it's already started. They've actually they don't know how long the fibers last in the brain or in the body or whatever, how long the signals work, but they've done it in very small amounts. N e u r a l i n k, I believe, is the company, and it's it's an Elon Musky. It's a bit musky. <laughs> um, so that that's that. So to your point about implants, it's like I don't, I think you limit implants. Oh, yeah, you're only tools. You can't make an implant. I don't think you can make everything. Like, why make a car sentient so it can have a fit and drive through your house? Like, it doesn't make sense. That certain things would even be right. But if we're talking about AI as just a base whole thought process, that because we're going to have something that's going to be AI, right? How sentient do we make that thing? And then to your point, like, I don't know if you've ever heard the term. There's a thing going around. It's like people losing their jobs, right? To automation. Whatnot. Yeah. The code, bro. Just learn to write code. Like, that's like the fucking douche response. Um, <laughs> AI is going to write its own fucking code so you yeah. fucking coders can go fuck yourselves in a couple I of years. I have a problem with Hello? That. Sorry. I just, people who fucking just, yeah, let's, re let's reduce the reductionist thought. Oh, get a better job, bro. Ah, uh, uh, thanks, asshole. Thank you. That was my. <laughs> Mm, soapbox again here you go last on yeah, the list i've been sitting on that one for a while last on the list sir, is religion all right where does religion fit into this whole thing what do what do christians and jews and muslims and buddhists and hindus think about internet artificial intelligence are they pro are they con do they do they see a need for it do they have a fear of it do they have a do they are they threatened by it? Do they give a shit? It's weird because we've had this conversation or this question in general about aliens, right? Like if we aliens? find out that aliens exist, right? Like sentient alien, not life. We know life. We I think I'm pretty sure that most people are like, there's been life on another planet where there's been a bacteria. Of yeah, some they sort. found something on the North Pole. Cool. Did that stop anybody well, were, from going to well, church? Well, there was a meteorite, but then it was something. That, Regardless, I think there, I think there was something of some evidence of life somewhere else. Okay, but then we go to sentient life, right? Have they gotten to where we've gotten? That's a, the next real question, right? Are they just <laughs> all animals running like dinosaurs before us, you know, running around, or are they at our level or beyond our level, right? So AI, people, what's going to happen with religion is people are going to misinterpret the God created us in our own image or in His own image. Mm -hmm. And we are now God, right? 
because we are creating something else, creating this in our image. Like if we're doing androids or if we're doing sentient, right? We're doing sentience from our experience because we don't have the experience of a whale. Like we don't know what a whale, what a whale filter is, like how they live their life in the water. Well, we, we don't know that. But we do know how we are, yes, right? Yes. So we are literally making something in our image because mm-hmm. we don't know any better. Well, we're just because we just want. I mean, I'd love to look. I would love to know if we could do it. I don't know if I'd want it done, but I just want to know if we could do it. Sounds understand, stupid, but that verse would be very misinterpreted because I don't. There's a lot of meaning behind God created us in his own image, right? Whether, and it could be just the actual like looking, but that's fucking horse shit, man. Fucking all knowing, all omnipotent, omniscient being created us in his image. Like, I don't understand. What does that mean? Right? That's really what it means. But people take that literal thing and go, you just, you you can't be God. We already have God over here. (laughs) Yeah. That is where (laughs) now with my, I mean, I believe faith as a whole or religion as a whole has slowly recess or uh, receded over the years. Right. I mean, the Catholic church has definitely gone through, is going through a recession, right? Is there a rebirth on that? I I don't know. I, you could be totally full of shit. I have no idea. I'm probably full of shit. I hope not because I love your theory. But my point is just that we hopefully, I mean, hopefully the faith that Faith in something that we can't understand goes away and we actually understand what it is. And that'll replace religion once we understand what God is. But that's a whole, that could be further than AI question. Okay. Did I fuck that up? Not at all. I, no. You look very, I don't think I answered that right. We <laughs> There's may, no right answer. Well, there may be a, there may be an equation for God. What is God? We may ultimately get the understanding of what God is by the time this question of AI comes up. So, Knowing what God was would probably shit on the books that are passed through God or whatever. Obvious, if we know, right? If we know and it's different or whatever, mm-hmm. I think that it's probably a non. But then you got the no, I'm not saying that. You got a group of people that are marrying first cousins and having children. So still, childrens, we're still having children with our first cousins. So we don't want to. They're not, they. Them? We're not that far. Yeah. I think I know them. Yeah. So, I, that's one, but, and that's 1.6 billion of the 7.7. 7. Oh, that's a I good was number. thinking about the people that go to NASCAR races down south. Oh! In Alabama! Oh. Sorry. I only know, excuse me, can you make AI turn right? I uh, know. I don't think AI is allowed to turn right. I tell you what. I tell you what. How's your mama name? Bless your heart. Patooey! <laughs> I thought you were talking, okay, I thought you were. I know who you were talking about, but I know who I was talking about. I know who you are talking about now. Bubba. Yeah. Well. What? You don't want to use that I word know. right now. That's what? the one that's the one that's getting all the heat. All the heat. Isn't that isn't that the one? The guy down in there? The guy that's like, you know, not as light as you and I. Say what? Mr. Would you like Wallace? me to do a recap? Uh yeah, absolutely. Let's I'm do sorry. a recap. Get the fuck out of here. I tell you what. Anyway, so we started with have you seen Terminator? Um, we did start with that. <laughs> and yes, I have. It's actually in my Movies, movie list on my draft list because fucking aliens. It's because I love you, bro. I still love you, man. I, I know. St- you know what? Would AI give up the first pick? No, AI is a cruel. AI, I think AI wouldn't have it. It'd be like it is. In my equation, it is the greatest movie of all time. Therefore, it must be chosen first. I am not here to make friends or make enemies, but it is the greatest decision to make is to choose a- uh, aliens as my number one. Thank you, drive through. The cow says, I don't know, speaking spell. Oh, I was singing CAT. I I did the wrong one. I did the cow. The little. I understand. I'm just waiting for you to finish. CAT, cat. That thing. The speaking spell, right? I know. Oh, sorry. I think you guys call it leapfrog now or some fucking. Leapfrog. (laughs) Okay, so. So wrong. I've seen seen Terminator. And Terminator 2. That was our re- we're Yes, recapping. sir. Oh, I'm sorry. We then talked about Alexa, Siri, those bitches, <sighs> Watson, Big Blue, AlphaGo, AlphaZero, 
if and when AI becomes self-aware, what conclusions will AI make? Are humans good or bad? Androids, servants, relationships, sex, physical laborers. If and it, slavery, yeah, if that we were getting to there, if oh, AI is deemed sentient, would having an android be akin to slavery? The upsides of AI implants and religion, sir, to wrap it up. And that's it. Do you have any final thoughts, sir? Uh, we're doomed, bro. Doomed. What if, what if com. fucking, what if like AI just went, I'm on, I see it all. You guys go do this and I'll show, I'll show you down the road where it's going to happen. Here, you guys do this and it goes, that. you guys do that. Look, I fucking solved everything. And the whole fucking world is like in peace. Wouldn't that be fucking great? Oh, I would love it, dude. The, the problem with this regardless. Yes. Is that. A human that is creating the AI gets to choose its purpose initially. Yeah. And the second any human touches anything, I mean, in this case, in my opinion, not so good. Because humans are flawed. We're flawed. Humans. Right. Not malicious, technically, no. maliciously by flawed. Nature. We're just flawed by nature. Correct. Humans are flawed mm -hmm. and humans are building AI. And We're emotional. We contradict instinct. Yeah. And AI, I'm sorry, we build AI. So humans AI. are flawed. Humans are building AI. Therefore, by mathematical principles, AI is flawed. It has to be, right? Just like the religion of the humans who created the religion. <sighs> That's some full circle shit That's right some there, full dude. Full circle shit. Are we ending on that, my friend? Yeah. So like that was great. Hey, when, when they talk about fallibility, falli being fallible. Fallibility. Oh, well, you the fallibility. Okay, we're going to end on that. You talk me into it. Or do you want to say F the certain in entity of which we were just talking? F A I. Oh, I thought F A I. I thought it was F C C. Oh, all the, sure. V I P, K P, M I A, all that shit. K P H. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> okay. You got to do a conversion, though. KFC. It's a bitch. Yeah, oh, that's good. <laughs> it's no longer Kentucky nor fried nor it's chicken. Extra crispy, bitches. Oh, I like that original. Extra. I like. I got to get the mix mat, the mishmash. Mishmash, mishmash, Pop mishmash. <laughs> uh, Popeye's biscuits, much better. Whatever it takes. Yeah. So we just said uh, humans are fallible. So making a system fallible, just like religion. Everything's fallible. <laughs> Everything humans touch has the ability to be fallible, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. We, yes. we have the ability to be wrong. What a shocker. And if we're wrong in a really wrong spot, <laughs> hello, Twitter world. Then we're in trouble. People get killed and then gloves don't fit. Jeez. All right. Well, on that, thank you, sir, for AI. Thank you. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, my friend. Are we, are we doing another one? Yeah. Okay. We're going to talk about consciousness up. Consciousness. Upload of consciousness in our next episode of The Knocked Conscious. See. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Can't wait to get my sentient sex robot. Oh, are we gonna, oh can we do it? Oh, my God. That would be so cool. Meow. <laughs> Meow. It's like, E.T. No. Um, I love you, bro. Bye, boo. And I used the wrong music because this is the Google's music. But I started with the Google's music again. Thank you for joining us. A mother fucking I. Hold on, we're not there yet, bro. I know, bro. You know, AI would know when to stop. Oh, I'm just kidding, bro. But you made AI, so you it knows because you know. I'm fallible. <laughs> I'm just fat. So I don't know. I'm fatable. I'm inflatable, apparently. Oh. Infatable? <laughs> we can shut it off anytime. That door. Perfect. <laughs>